Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> hey. So it's an impromptu live, as always, but I thought we'd kind of go over some validations in each case. I thought we'd kind of maybe extend the astrology lines and take a look at, look at the area um, for some cases. I go over Dylan's and how that fits. She didn't get to extend the astrology lines for me in Dylan's, but they there are some lines that do go there. So I'll just kind of show you, and then as soon as she extends that, I'll... I'll show you how it looks. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about my trip today and all of that. Um, if you're on Facebook, I just put it in there to let you guys know I'm live. Sometimes I see your comments. Sometimes I don't until after the live's over. Just letting you guys know. Sometimes it'll say like Facebook user and sometimes it'll say I, I, I won't see anything until later. <clears throat> so it's getting nighttime. So my cough is starting in. <laughs> There should be closed caption on. I, I can't do anything from, from... It doesn't give me that option. So... Um, I don't know really how to do that. Um, I do put closed cap caption on all my videos. At least I think I do. Um... You can click the closed caption on there. There should be a, because uh, when I look right now, it says that there is, um, there's, that I have closed captions on, or subtitles on there. You should be able to click the CC button. Um, it won't let me do it now, but it shows that I have subtitles on all my stuff. So I don't know, as far as I know, that's on there. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Hey, Megan. Oh, welcome. We always appreciate new people. So I just thought this would be something um, cool to look into or look at. Crap. I'm still freaking tired um, from yesterday. And I'll show you a couple videos. I really wish I would have, like, recorded more, but I was too busy dying to record anything. Um. <laughs> so, I just think, unfortunately, my trip yesterday, I did not know that it was going to be like that. Um. Oh, I was? I'll have to see that. I'll have to see that LB. That, that's interesting. <coughs> so, um, sorry if I'm coughing. I got a little bit of cough. Just one, seems to come in when it turns nighttime for me. All right. Um... I've already done a reading on Sebastian's case. Yeah, you guys have to really check the... the. Uh, everything has a playlist. So everybody's always asking me, like, where's that auto write? Well, it's in the playlist for World Events Auto Rights. Where's the Sebastian reading? Everything I've done is in that playlist. Everything I do on a case is in the playlist. Um, well, good for you, because no. 
No, no. I'm glad you've done it 100 times. Maybe you can go beyond the 2.5 miles and go higher. I couldn't. I'm not a hiker, and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, so I'm glad that you can do it, but I definitely will never hike that mountain again. I, if you're ever up there, take the Willow Trail because I wanted to go that direction, but she was seen at Mesquite, so I kept going to Mesquite, and I didn't, I didn't listen to my instincts. So maybe go to the Willow Trail. But I think she, if she went that way and she wasn't coming back, that she's further back. Um, and the guy I was with, he just wasn't going to make it. So, and we ran out of water, so we had to come back. So, you know, if you happen to go out there again, you know, that's where she's lost at. Either go further on the Mesquite Trail or, or go up the Willow Trail. I don't know what's on Willow Trail. So, um, there should be a CC option because I have it clicked for subtitles on my, on my, um, on my YouTube. So I'll never go on that hike again. People can do that all they want. That's their thing. I was, yeah, no. It says I have subtitles on my, in two languages on all my stuff. So, mm, I don't know how else to fix it. Um, there should be a CC thing. So, yeah, like I said, I wanted to go down um, Willow. I was, like, feeling pulled that way, but she was supposedly seen on Mesquite. So, I mean, if you if you go out hiking, make sure that you're looking down, like, under. Um, she would be down the canyon, like, between, like, rocks and trees. Last night, our EVP said, I'm, in a, I'm under a tree or I'm in a tree. So, that would tell me that there's trees or something hiding her to where she's not being seen. But I couldn't hike as far as I wanted to go. If she's an avid hiker, maybe she didn't want to come back out because of the loss of her husband. She might be way back there, but she's on that mountain. I know that they tried to tell us, oh, no, law enforcement searched it. Look, it's very vast. I've seen places where law enforcement said they searched, and this is not anything against law enforcement. People are easily missed, but it doesn't mean they're not there. You know, she's on the mountain. Everything, according to her astrology chart, points that she's on the mountain. I actually have her astrology chart on where the lines extend. And they extend all the way to the back of that freaking mountain. So, you know, I just couldn't go that far as far as I wanted to. We ran out of time. I actually wanted to um, go... I actually wanted to leave here at like three in the morning and it didn't work out because of the, all the stuff that happened the day before. I didn't get to bed till midnight. And so I didn't wake up till four. So unfortunately I got out there too late. We ran out of water. The guy was like, poor guy. He had like cramps and stuff. So we had to come back. Um, I wanted to continue going on Mesquite Trail. Um, I would go further back on that or I would check out Willow. Cause I, like I said, I felt a pull towards the Willow side, but her astrology chart basically says, um, that and and my and my feeling is that something happened and she kind of fell she does have head injury but what i kept seeing yesterday was um a, a mountain lion on a on a rock we can't say you know mountain she was out there at dusk mountain lions do attack at dusk it is very possible that, that that's why they can't find her she was taken by mountain lion somewhere i hate to say that but for two days all i've seen is a mountain lion on a rock so I don't know if it's symbolic or if it's like some uh, one was watching her and stalking her. They didn't show me the attack, but I just want to say that that there's something there's there's a reason they keep repeating that. Usually when things are repetitive, it's for a reason. So um, yeah, I kept wanting to go towards Willow, but the guy that was with me, he was like, "Well, she was seen on Mesquite. We still have two point four miles to go down the Mesquite Trail to where she was seen." So I was trying to go where she was seen, go beyond that. But I kept wanting to be pulled towards Willow. But it was like one or the other. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But I keep seeing a mountain lion on a... Every time I think of her, that's what I keep seeing. But her astrology chart does point to something with the head. Also, she's got Pisces in her chart, which is... um you know, it's for water. So I know that there's not a lot of water out there, but we did see water yesterday. So it could be even a dried up creek bed or like a place where water would gather. That might be significant as either as well on what trail on the mesquite trail or the willow trail. So yeah, fuck that. I, I was scared about that all day yesterday because I kept seeing it in my head and I was like, why do I keep seeing this mountain lion on a damn rock? 
and so you know um and i i don't know what line goes that way we can look because they do have her astrology lines but it's very hard so i did want to it was like when we got to the point where you can switch trails my arm kept wanting to point that way but it was like shit i gotta choose like where she was seen or willow like would she really come back down mesquite and go up willow like I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know why she would, but maybe it's very possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go down Willow then. Um, but if you're an avid hiker and you guys want to go look, that's where I would suggest. Um, I can actually pull up her astrology chart right now. We could look at it and I could show you. Now, it's hard to tell what lines because like in Dylan, we were forcing it. We were focusing on... He was like his midheaven and something else, but that's more than likely, I guess, maybe where he's on the live or there might be evidence. But for him, it was his Mercury, Sun, and Ascendant. Ascendant rules our victim. The Sun rules vitality, and the Mercury, um, Mercury retrograde. I'm not, I can't really remember what else, but it's interesting because he went missing during Mercury and he was found in Mercury. So I'll show you guys that. Like she wasn't able to extend it. It was her birthday today. She had to go to sleep. We were supposed to do a reading and we didn't. So. Um, I'll just kind of show you like how I saw it. And then whenever she extends it, I'll share that with you guys. But if there's a den, screw that. Glad I didn't go that way. But I kept wanting to like, I felt a pull that way. You know what I mean? But she was last seen on, um, on Mesquite. So I didn't know if she was seen coming down or going up. But just saying, I kept seeing a mountain lion on it like on one of those rocks and it was weird because on those rocks that were out there like i was like oh my gosh that looks like the rock that i could see the, the mountain lion looking on and you know they go on those rocks and they jump off so yeah she could have been taken by a mountain lion that's why there might be no like evidence of it but she's definitely um she's i i would check willow then um either way further back in mesquite or willow but i did feel a strong pull towards willow but i had to choose at that time like do we go down willow or do we go up to where she was seen? And my mind was like, well, she was last seen there, you know. So, yeah. Um, it, it it repeated all day yesterday. And if that happens, then that's why they wouldn't be seeing any signs of her either. But, you know, I would I would take a, you know, look where there could be water. Usually is water. Um, and then down into those you know, down the, down the hill, like where, um, you know, someone could fall, fallen off, but yeah, um, it could be also saying like near, um, near mountain lion den as well. Like that's possible. Um, let me see if I can pull up her astrology map. We'll go over that. I'll share some, um, I gotta find it real quick. Um, there's no foul play in her. She wasn't abducted. So I'm just saying, for the person that was trying to say she's not up there, she is somewhere. But, you know, it's so vast. You can't see, you can only see 5% from a helicopter. Or you're not gonna see her. Um, unless she was alive, like they have that infrared stuff. She wasn't at the time they were looking for her. Actually, Pluto was in the eighth house before 1230. She actually went before she was ever reported missing she was gone unfortunately let's see here's amber's chart it's really hard because it's literally on the mountain um but willow is interesting i do think that we have and we went from the wrong area on this so we actually need to move this to ramada um i'll show you guys hold on Yeah, um, yeah, it is very vast. It's it's freaking ridiculous. Um, you know, I actually met a person out there, and um, why is it not showing? Hold on, I gotta find it.
I actually met a person and it was like really hot. And all of a sudden when I got, why does it say your browser blocked the screen? Anyways, as soon as I was talking to this lady, um, I got cold chills. She was telling me actually that like she was parked right next to where she was known to last be. Um, so I got like cold chills as I was talking to her. Um, let me see if I can. And it was, yeah, like I said, I meant to go earlier in the day and I just it didn't work out. And it's just going to get hotter. So, you know, um, okay. So we actually went from the wrong place. So these lines might be a little off, not far off. She misunderstood what I was saying when I, I was trying to tell her I heard trail five. Um, so she went from trail five instead of Ramada way. So if you move all these lines over a little bit, they would be right. Thank you, Hawk. Um, so let me see. Um, I can't see what freaking trail they are. So the, see how all these lines are here at Ford Canyon? They need to be over here at Ramada. So if we were to move all these lines, which I can't do it because I don't have editor, it would be fanning out this way. So it would hit, according to what I remember looking at yesterday, Mesquite Canyon Trail, that willow, like everything that's on this side of the mountain. Okay. So that's why her stuff is a little off. Um, that's Uranus and Jupiter. Um her Uranus, you, 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 okay, now I would check on the Mercury line, so I'm going to have her see if she can move this. It's going to take a couple hours. She didn't have a chance. So the Willow Camp, that's interesting, because Willow Campground goes down here towards Ramada Way, so maybe I fucking should have taken that. Maybe she tried to take Willow, because you do split off on the Mesquite. There, there comes a time where you can either go straight or you can go off to Willow. That's where I wanted to go off to. And it looks like her Mercury go, would go that way. If we move this down... It would go into the Mesquite Canyon, the Willow, all of this. Like, it would all fan down. I don't know if I'm making sense. Like, we, this should be down here. All these lines should be down here, and they would fan out that way. I'm going to try to get her to do it. So, um, yeah, you said it was a loop because I was like, why would she go up a loop if she can't go down that way? Because I was like, can we take Willow out? And he was like, no, we got to take the way we came. So I was like, oh, well, that sucks because I was kind of torn between the two. I was torn between my mind and where she was last seen, and I was torn between... Um, going down willow i didn't know that willow there was also hmm so actually the line should start from here at ramada way so all these need to be moved down which again she couldn't do it yesterday she was gone and it takes a couple hours so it would fan you know they would all fan over this way all right her mercury everything she went missing during mercury retrograde so that would be interesting to see where exactly those lines go so i don't know if you can move them with your eyes or whatever but you know she is out there all of her astrology lines say so they she was not abducted okay i'm just saying she was not abducted um so i don't care however many times they've looked you know i don't care she's out there somewhere all right um i'm going to show you two videos i should have made more videos of it <laughs> but i was not thinking about making videos for real guys like so, yeah, I'll just give you an idea of what it looked like. Um, yeah, but the chart you would need to move down. So remember, um, when she can change it, I'll see if he'll, she'll change it. But... Um, you need to move those all those lines down to Ramada Way and see how they fan out. So those lines are off because she went from she misunderstood what I was saying. I was telling her something I got intuitively and she thought that that's where she went missing from. So it was just a miscommunication. Thank you to Mercury Retrograde. And so those lines need to be moved down to the Ramada Way and fan, they'll fan out that way. I couldn't figure out how to do it. I was trying to figure it out because I don't have editing privileges yet on her thing. So I'm hoping she'll move it for me. If you want to search, you can reach reach out to me on Facebook or whatever, and I can send you the new map. Um, but 
it would be it would be really interesting um as for like the mercury because dylan's mercury was really important during his um on his on his chart so you would just need to like move it down you know what i mean like move that where all those lines fan down to the ramada and and try to see where they go like i said and i tried to do it like last night put a paper over my phone and do it but it wasn't bright enough so i couldn't figure out how to do it so but she's definitely around there in that area somewhere all right I'll try to um, see if I can send you the map when she fix it. I drew a map of Dylan's location. And I don't know what reading that was. But I'm going to actually. Somebody clipped it for me. Can't use the clip on a validation. Because the sound's a little low. So I've got to try to find it. Yeah I did get tunnel. Um, at, in the card. So it seems like it was more symbolic. But uh, we'll go over Dylan in a minute. Oh, I have to put play over here. I'm like, what am I doing? We came up from up there. <laughs> that was crazy. You should have just took the road up to those antenna towers over there. What? <laughs> There's got to be a road up there. It's for maintenance. Oh, There's a robe up here. Oh, man. This is cr crazy. Oh, it's one of those lizards that has the long ass tail. Oh, pretty flowers. We came up from up there. <laughs> so yeah, I should actually have not have taken my dog for that. <laughs> if I would have known, I would. Uh, yeah, I should have not taken her. It was a little hot for her, but we kept her cool. She survived. She's here. She's home. So, um. Let me show you that. That was one video. Let me show you the other video I have. We came up. Wait, I got the wrong video on there. Damn it. Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Hold on a second. I got the wrong video. Um, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> It's okay, it's this one. That's why I'm going. Okay. There we go. Okay, I got it. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Oh, no. Come on. I had one cold chill here today when I was talking to that lady. That was it. Oh, can't feel anything else. As tired as I am. It's nuts. See? Ah, fuck. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I almost died. Oh, my partner. I was actually doing better than my partner was. I'm actually not as sore today as I thought I was. So I'm actually better shaped than I thought. <laughs> yeah, like if I had more time, I probably would have went up Willow, honestly, because that pool was right there. And I was like, Fuck. like, do I go where she's last seen or do I go this way to Willow? So it was like a decision I had to make because we couldn't really have time to do both. And I should have went like at three o'clock, but I'll never hike that mountain again. So if anybody is up there, they can just follow that lead because I'm not doing that again. Um, I'm not doing that again. What the hell I was thinking? Um, 
So someone got me this ghost thing today. So we'll see how it works. It doesn't really work on my on me like most meters do, which is good. Like it can tell the difference between human and not. So we'll see how that works. I put it up there with the balls. All right. Um, oh, for yeah, for fudge shakes, like it's ridiculous. Um, I'm like I didn't make it home till like eleven thirty last night. I was not, um, I wasn't, yes, he was carrying both bags. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> I wasn't going to carry it. Are you kidding me? I felt so bad for him, dude. Like, we had to sit down for a little bit. He had, like, cramps. We ran out of water. We didn't, we took, like, I think six bottles, and he had a pack, and we still ran out. So, um, yeah, it was him. So, you've probably seen us there. So, I, like, again, I would go up the Willow Trail if you can. But I'd be curious about, um, you know, I kept seeing him out lying on the, on the... <laughs> I felt so bad for him. He was like, he was on the ground for a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, are we going to have to call in a helicopter for you? Like, they should really do helicopter rides up there for a zip line. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, um. I did. I got a cold chill while talking to the lady that said that her car was actually parked near hers. Yeah, we did. Probably. We gave my dog a lot of water. I was wetting her paws and going underneath her um, her underarms and stuff. So, she probably did drink most of the water. We needed to take probably another five bottles, honestly. She's exhausted today. Like, all she's done is slept slept and i don't blame her at all and you see how burned i am i'm actually already turning into yeah so and they did not like they did charge us seven dollars they weren't supposed to the family you know family said if you go say you're looking for her they won't charge you but they did like she argued with us so just letting you guys know um it does no good well at least with her it did no good to tell her that um So the problem is, is with people that say, you know, someone's not somewhere. Um, is this my, you are my partner, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So it did, the EVP did say Mike's name. The EVP said a lot of things. It said like, um, what was it saying? Um, it was talking about head. Um, I'm in the trees. I fall in like a lot of like, I had it on like the whole time and it was like st saying stuff. Um, I know. Hey. Yeah, no, <laughs> he didn't. He had a hard time. I felt so bad. I hope he ate some mustard for his cramps and drink a lot of water. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I forgot my sunblock, so I was freaking burned. I probably wouldn't have been, I probably would have been better if I wasn't burning to death, but I forgot to put it on. I forgot to take it with me. So I probably should have got some before I went in there, but we were so late anyways. Like I got there way later than I wanted to. I really wanted to go like early, early, but I don't know. And it felt like a push to go. So I was trying to do it fast and just get it over with so I could get it off my mind. And the, the, the EVP was saying, like, my remains. Um, I was saying a lot of crazy stuff. But it was also, like, replying to our conversation or talking about what we were talking about with the conversation. I know. I'm like, I'm like, it's our responsibility. Like, if we want to come look, let us come look. Like, you know, you're trying to deter saying she's not there. She did not get kidnapped. Okay. If that If you have to pay $7 to get in, like, that's not a place where people really get kidnapped from. Unfortunately, like, I feel like something just bad happened up there and that's it. 
Not really. She was too hot to sense anything, just like I was. Like I said, I wanted to go down Willow, and I didn't listen to it because she was seen on Mesquite higher up. So I was trying to go where she was last seen and go beyond that, but we didn't make it. So, um, like, ran out of water. We had to come back down. I, mean, I think we got back down, like, at five or six. So I didn't want to be out there with mountain lions. Um, you know, now someone's seen, telling me they've seen them. Yeah, no thank you. But I kept wanting to go towards Willow, and I was just like... We couldn't do two places. It was either one or the other. So it was like, do I listen to my instincts and go this way for nothing? Do I go up where she was last seen? And I kind of like should have listened to my instincts because now it's bugging me. Like, I wonder what would have happened if I would have went that direction. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like my I wanted to lift my arm up and point that way. Um, so it was, it was very much like a pool. Um, no, I don't have a backup page I send out messages from. I don't. Remember, I will never send you a message, like, asking for a reading or telling you to get a reading. Like, it, I won't do that. You have to message me. And all of my information is always in my um, link, my uh, link, linked thing, LinkedIn, whatever the hell it's called. Can't even think right now. Um, so all of my, I only have, like, one place that I send. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be me. I don't ever send anybody messages. I've been trying to say that, like, people will get, people will scan you. The only way that you ever talk to me or send, unless we've talked before, or um, you, you schedule with me or anything like that, you have to do through the website. And so, like, I won't chase you. Like, real psychic mediums will never come to you and be like, hey, I'm drawn to you. Can I give you a reading? First sign, it's a scam. All right. Um, or, hey, you have a curse. Can I remove it for you? scam all right no 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 i didn't so people have to understand like readings choose me i don't choose them any readings and all that i've done are in in my videos or in my playlist um so i it, my my readings kind of go from one to another interconnects that's how spirit chooses me um, and that will tell me what I'm supposed to get on cases and whatnot. Um, so, anyways. Um, I have not done Harris. I have not done Caleb Harris yet. I will. I just have not gotten into it. I'm only one person. I can only get to so much. So, the astrology is already done on it. I just have not been able to um, do it yet. And my friend told me today that maybe running through the woods was him according to what's coming out. I have not seen anything else, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll never message anybody and tell them that. All right, so I want to kind of show you guys now the sound is kind of wonky on this video. Um, somebody made it for me because I was like, she's like, you know that you got a map of Dylan's area like two years ago. I literally did not remember that. If I would have remembered that, I think I would have followed those astrology lines. And I think the border came in multiple times in the in each reading in the first couple readings. So I always try to tell people that my most accurate readings are usually the very first two that are done or the very first one that is done um, because I don't have time to sit and think about things. I don't have time like to go on a map and be pulled to other locations. And I notice that the more readings I do, the more inaccurate it becomes. Um, so that's something that I need to remind people, no matter how many times I will do a reading I usually get the most accurate information in the first couple, okay? Because otherwise, I tend to be led in other directions, yada, yada. Like, it goes crazy. Um, so that's why I can do 500 readings, and all my accurate information is going to be the first couple readings because we usually get what we're supposed to get in the beginning. Um, that doesn't mean there, there won't be accurate information in later readings. I've just noticed from the way that I work that my most accurate information is in the first couple readings that are done, but basically the first one. Or if I get a map or something from a dream, it's usually accurate. So if he was giving me a map and I drew it out, that's what we would follow. The astrology does go there. We just didn't extend the lines and look at the correct lines, which again, if I would have remembered that I drew a map and that I, that's where I got before, cause it is reading two years ago. So I don't remember everything. So that's another thing for me. I need to go back over the readings. So now we need to say that in all the astrology that all lines, we're going to try to extend all lines and focus on every line because we don't know what line is going to be important for which case. Hey, Jamie. Um, so I wanted to share with you this and 
the I'm going to redo it. I have to figure out what reading it is and download it or and try to make the video because I have this longer video I'm going to make for validation and then I'm going to cut it up. But I just want to show you guys this um, because I didn't remember that I did it till someone mentioned it to me. And um, I'm like literally falling asleep while I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> My eyes like feel so tired. Um, but the, the sound is like a little low on this because it's a screen recording. So I have to go find this and so I can show it to you. I don't have time to do that today. I was 30. I was 30 when I noticed it. I wrote a book about it. It's r and our Love, a Twin Flame Story. I've also done podcasts on it. So where I've talked about it numerous times. So if you go to Chastity's uh, Lights, Lights, Af Lights After Midnight, I think it was like um, the last episode of season one. And then or you go to Light Up Your Worth podcast. I talk about it as well. Um, I had to have a sort of awakening of sorts. Um, one second, let me see. Um, so we're gonna go case by case. I'm trying not to jump around with my ADHD, but I do that. So I don't even know if we'll be able to hear this because the sound is like not great on it. But bless her heart for doing it. But um. I slept till three o'clock today. I actually, last night, as soon as I let the dogs out and in, I literally sat on the couch and fell asleep till five o'clock. And then I was like, I'm going to bed. And I went to bed till three. So, no, it's okay. Like, I just get irritated when, like, people throw in my face if I say, if people want to donate, they don't have to. They don't have to feel obligated. That's not what this channel is about. But sometimes, like, going places and doing things for cases is is a strain on me because... You know, I have a lot going on right now. Like, I just had my well broke. I got to come up with the money to pay seven grand for the well. So, you know, there's a lot going on. And I have people that, like, are judgmental. Like, and I also am trying to figure out what's wrong with my 18-year-old dog because she's getting skinny. I know she's old, but they're, it's just the way that she's losing weight. I feel like there's something else. So that's where kind of where all my money's gone. But for them to, like, say, oh, you don't, you need to put your... Animal, you know, you need to have your animals you need to go to someone that could take care of them. My animals are taken care of. If I have to do a live, if I have to work my ass off, that's what I do to take care of them. So they're not going anywhere. I'm not separating anybody. They're here until they pass away and I'm not getting any younger. So once they're gone, I'm not going to have the animals that I do. Um, so, you know, they're here. People can quit throwing shit in my face because I get sick and tired of it because I work literally all the time and no one works as hard as I do on this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I, I just, I don't deserve it. And I will, I'll mute somebody in a second. She said, you can mute me. Well, fuck. Yeah. I'm going to mute. Sorry. Screw you. I'm going to mute you. Um, you know what I mean? So, and I was not in the mood yesterday after doing all that hiking, driving for eight hours, coming home, I barely made it home. Like I had to stop and put eye, eye drops in my eyes and they burned my eyes and but that woke me up and my son talked to me to make sure I stayed awake. So um, I was not in the mood to see those comments yesterday. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And then you have someone saying, oh, she's saying Chiron wrong or whatever. So what? Fuck. Like I'm a human. I don't always pronounce shit right. Fucking shut up. Um, so annoying. Like, didn't you have anything better to do than to like nitpick? Oh, fuck's sake. I am going to make a, a shirt that says for F sake, because I am just over people. Thank you so much, Hawk. That's very sweet. And Hawk was very um, compassionate the night before I went out to go look for Amber. So that was very kind of him. Um, all right, let me show you. Now, I don't know how the sound's going to work on this because it's actually not great. I think it's just because it's a screen recording. Um, So I'm saying this border and this border, like he's in between two borders was what I was getting. I got to find this video. I don't know where I did this at. Someone said. Um, 
So what else is interesting here is I said, I know there's gyps gypsum sand on the way, but I don't know if there's gypsum there. There's also gypsum weeds, but there was somebody found burned on gypsum robe today. So that just shows how interconnects work. There was someone found on a place in, Cal in California, gypsum, gypsum road. So that's kind of interesting that that came in like that. Um, so you're not gonna be able to hear this that great. I understand the sound isn't great on it, but I got to find it. Um, somebody said it was on the Michael Vaughn one with Dylan. I don't know. I just know that I, I was, I, they, I was made to dry out on the damn map. So, okay, so this is the, I believe, Nevada border, and this is the Idaho border, I think. And then he's showing you. I said there was two borders, and then I said there was mountains, and like he's like right there, which would match. Um, Tunnel Springs Road was where he was found off of. I, I did get the tunnel card. Um, so sometimes it's symbolic, which is what I try to tell people. But, um, hold on. I did draw a map, and it was exactly where he was. Now, I'll show you where his astrology lines go out that way, too. The mountains. So, I think this location is Nevada. Okay. And between the two borders, like, he's in these mountains. He's up here somewhere between these two borders. Because what he showed me was, he showed me these as dotted lines. Now, we learned... The body is going to be in Nevada line, and we're going to scroll out a minute. We're going to scroll out. Let me just put it in layers here. So, this is Pollution. This is where Dylan Brown was starting. He was going to start a farm. You know, he's 19 years old. He was going to, uh, you know, build a farming life. Uh, you know, right over, there's nothing there, by the way. There's like a railroad track there. But you have to go, it's a little bit off of Highway 30. And the closest town is Montello. Mo Montello, Nevada. It's on the Nevada, Montello uh, area. This is, you know, this was the area they were searching over here extensively. But the remains of Dylan, the remains of Dylan were found over here towards this area, a little bit down. And I'm going to show you, it was, it was, it was off this road called Tunnel Springs Road, Tunnel Springs Road, which was very close to the property of James Brennan. And I think also in one of the readings, I mentioned James Brenner's property or someone that was significant. So I'd have to go through the readings and see what else matches. And yeah, so the well I was getting during Dylan, but again, I kind of think Summer Wells is in a well and... And Dylan's property, I think there's evidence there that maybe was missed or something. Because I'll go back to an area for a specific reason. It's not always where the body is. Sometimes it's there's evidence or I'm getting that imprint of what happened there. If that makes sound, sense. Um, in Oklahoma, a teen boy was found on a wall. That's interesting. So um, I'm going to show you guys now Dylan Rounds' um, astrology chart, what I'm talking about where he was found and where the astrology lines go and kind of where you're focused. I think I might have had the map flip. So I'm learning astrology. I'm learning how this works. If I would have remembered I got the border, I probably would have followed those lines. I forgot. Like, I do so many cases. Those were two years ago. I don't know. So we should always look at all the lines and where they're pointing, obviously, because his Mercury, his son, and his Ascendant went that way. Um, Ascendant is always going to rule our victim. So we, the ascendant line is usually places that they know or places that are relevant to them. Um, and again, like I say, I'm not an astrologist. I'm just trying to explain and show you guys. It can be any of these lines depending on the astrology chart and other information. So we should always kind of look at, you know, more than just one line, even though we were focused on the midheaven and she's learning too. So she knows forensic astrology, but we're learning to work together. We're learning how this works. It was still right if you extend up. That's why I always tell people, like, we, you can totally extend the lines. Um, they, it's not just right here. Like, you can extend the lines out further. Like, we just don't always do that, but we're going to start extending the lines. Um, 
so yeah, it seems like there's interconnects that came in here because I also in Susan, I kept getting that bear wildlife area out there and I guess they just found a, a body there too. Um, and this is all about timing. You see how the timing is bam, 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 like the gypsum, like he was found a few days ago. Now we've got the gypsum hitting that one thing and it can have multiple meanings, but um, okay. Now I need to go and find Dylan's. Um, let me see. Okay. I was going to try to show you guys a picture of this, but the problem is, is that the lines aren't extended, so you can't really see it. Um, <coughs> I just figured a way to find out. Um, okay, there we go. All right. So pay attention to this green line. This is the Mercury line, which again, he went, he went missing during Mercury retrograde. Um, 27 Taurus during micro retrograde, the grain shed, farming, delayed communication, misinformation, gossip, cold case, false leads, red herrings, possible multiple victims, uh, part of fortune very closely conjunct, which is why the attack was recorded and led law enforcement to the perpetrator easily. This line rules cell phones and other forms of communication. If there are other victims, they're also likely young and either be male or female. So this is actually the Mercury line, which he went missing during micro retrograde. He was found in micro retrograde. Um, if we go out this way okay say we were to extend that line because we were focused on the black lines but i always said all the lines right so if you're to like extend this line all the way out which she's going to do later look where it hits and then we have um his ascendant line is this black line right here gemini communication intelligence twins two or more people double life so this also is important to the victim all right. And he was found over here by Bald Eagle. So very, very close. Okay. If we extend that line, bam, it goes this way. All right. And I think Montello is where his property is, right? Then we have the sun, the sun sign which is communication information, twins, two or more people, because it was in seven degrees of Gemini, double life, people who look similar. This line rules the perpetrator as well as the victim's body, victim's life, vitality, and someone's body. Sometimes a body. So actually his son line, which I explained in the, when we did the astrology, because I went over all this, and if you listen, I said sometimes a body, that literally goes to where Dylan was found. The perpetrator, sometimes a body, like you can't really tell, but if you the line is right here, if you send it out, it goes bam there. So the astrology was right, follow the right lines. The sun line, bam, all the way out there. You extend it, you extend it. Bam. Okay. Pretty freaking close. Now you take that and you take my map and we had it. So Utah border. I didn't know what the borders were. So I was probably wrong on what the borders were. Utah border. No, wait. Is there two borders right there? Hold on a second. Yeah, there is two borders. Well, what the fuck? So I think this is a Nevada border. Utah border. Utah border here. Nevada border here. Yep. His, I think, property is over here. And I think we talked about that at some point so just to get um hey carrie just to get an idea um or just to show you guys how the astrology works because i said the sun sometimes the body we were just focused on the other one because of the way that they were conjuncting each other oh uh, hey um yeah don't you know don't worry about readings like I'm going to cut them off at some point, but I have to start making enough on YouTube to do that. So until I do. Um, so that's basically Dylan. Cause I don't, I didn't go through my readings, but we had it. 
we had it we had it i had drawn that i had drawn that map and that's where he was so and that was done a long time ago so that's what i'm saying like the first couple readings the first if i draw a map it's usually right if i have a dream it's usually right so that's what we have to focus on and i wish i remembered i did that before the astrology came in okay so um So that makes me think that we need to extend Elijah's astrology lines as well um, and look at all the lines. So let's bring up, let me bring up Elijah's astrology. Um, <coughs> Why did she extend? Okay. Yeah. So we did say a body on the sun. So, um, but like I said, I felt like he's going to be found in Mercury retrograde and the confession for Dylan came in the cards and I said, he's going to confess about what the body is. I don't know if the family is going to do it or not, but it's there. So that was really interesting. I'll do validation videos for that and show you guys. Cause it'll, it's so if we extend these, all right. Cause we had to, we would have had to extended villain Dylan's a very long way. Um, Hey other, I'll get to Sebastian and I did. So I'll explain about that when I get to him. One thing at a time, guys. Okay. So we did extend these lines a little bit. But I keep pulling the damn zoo card. I'm going to pull some more cards right now, even though I'm tired. Because I want to see if I pull it again. So look, his moon line, which he could be. Okay, so moon line again rules a child under five. So he could be here and he it extends out into the lake. I mean, it goes from the river into the lake. All right. But what is interesting is his Jupiter line goes into the zoo. Now, if we extend that out, like say we want to extend it further, let's see where it goes. Because she's going to extend these probably for me too. So if we extend it, it literally goes into this water right here, which goes out into this outflow, which is really interesting. Um, and if we keep extending it, I wish I could extend it on here. We're going to figure that out. Like if we keep extending it, it'll go over here past 43 and into this wooded area. I just, I don't think he's that far according to his astrology chart. Now, um, we have to remember that this, this Chiron line, Chiron line, Chiron line, over the fuck, someone's probably going to complain to me about it so how if i'm saying it wrong whatever chiron chiron whatever um this actually hit the blanket so again that can um do evidence um it seems like that there's probably gonna be evidence on that that all also rules the end of the matter so it could be there could be that's like the biggest thing they have for evidence. Um, and if we take the Uranus line, okay, the Uranus line is going to also go out into, it's going to go into the woodland preserve and then go out into the water, okay? And I mean, the sun can sometimes rule the perp, um, which also goes over to where she was known. Now, I'm trying to follow the readings as well as to what I got. So according to the astrology on that should be the water. This does go to the Serenity Lake, as I was saying. So, but someone said that was private. So I don't know. But this would go through there. Just saying his, the Saturn, the Saturn, the Saturn and the, the, yeah, the Saturn line would go through there and it kind of conjuncts the, the sun. So that would be another, 
another area if you can get if that's if that's private then obviously it's not going to be in a private area just think just just saying um but say that he was put in the water over there the river does flow you know but there's a dam there but it does flow through that and it does come out where the moon line is just saying okay And again, I like, I want people to know that just because I'm psychic, I'm not going to be able to point in a direct theory. But if we look at the cases, we look at Dylan's, look how, look how accurate Dylan's was. The astrology is not wrong. It's just how we perceive it. Dylan's was pretty freaking close to where he was. If you take the map and you take that, we had his location. Of course, no one's going to listen. So he's found the way he was meant to be found. If their family is more open to psychics, you know, then maybe, um, so, but my first readings were most accurate on Dylan. So we have to go back and say my first readings are most accurate on Elijah before I know anything, before I hear anything, before I'm on the map, yada, yada. Um, right. So yes, this is for, this is the part for Elijah that I'm going over. I'm trying to go over some, this is a lake I considered an ocean, but it's a really huge lake. So yeah, the bay, it's like a bay area. Um, All right, so let me pull some cards for him as far as location cards and see if I pull the zoo again. I'm curious. Although I'm like barely holding my eyes open. My eyes feel tired probably from being just being sunburned. I'm so sunburned. It's ridiculous. I hate myself right now for not putting on some block. Well, there's not much else to talk on, Dylan, because I haven't gone over the readings. When I go over the readings, I'll I'll do like a validation video, and um, I'll try to. I'm gonna. Ha I edit a lot on him, so I've actually got to find that that map. Um, and then I want to wait till she extends that line out for Dylan too, so I can show you guys. Okay, so. Yeah, so, you know, and I did say in Dylan's reading that the sun can also rule bodies. We were just kind of focused on the other area because of the conjunction and the way that those lines, like, it it conjunct in his midheaven. So, but Saturn doesn't always rule bodies, but sometimes it does. The sun can also rule bodies. It depends on their, their um, like, you get a bigger picture if you're able to do someone's natal chart along with this. But, like, for instance, Sebastian's, like, we don't have his time of birth and everything. So, like... If we have a time of birth, okay, or if we have a place of birth, we can use the natal chart and bring it into this, and, and there might be different lines that we can follow. So, again, every line should be paid attention to. I always focus on the moon line because that usually does rule children. But, again, we saw in Dylan's it was the Mercury, the sun, and, and um, his ascendant. So, yeah, no, it's not salvage. He's not in a salvage yard. Like, that's the thing is they'll search all these other places, but they won't listen to me. It kind of gets annoying. It's like, if you're going to go search anywhere. You may as well just follow what I'm saying because we're out there searching as it is. You know? Yeah, but they don't really search areas that I say, which is fine. He's going to be found when and if he's meant to be found. But the thing is, is it's like you're out searching areas anyways. Why not block? Why not check out these areas? You know? Water is really important with him. He's not going to be in that type of area, in my opinion. Um, okay, so let me just shut up for a minute. So I'm going to pull some more location cards on Elijah, see what we come up with. Since we have people in here from the area, maybe they know if something popped up. And then we'll know more of a line to follow, because that's kind of what we were trying to do. Sorry. And my chest was hurting so bad when I was when I was hiking yesterday too. Like it was hurting so bad. But I didn't cough. I coughed in the evening.
Yeah, and you guys need an underwater camera. But I can't, like I tell people, people get found when and if they're meant to. Sometimes I'll get the information to find them. Sometimes I won't. And sometimes it doesn't make sense till they're found. It's just the way that it is. There is. So I'm saying, like, usually my first couple readings are right when I don't know anything. The more that I start to, like, I'll get further out on things that could be around the area and then it gets confusing. <laughs> Sometimes it is directions, but when if I draw a map, yeah, it, it's as specific as there's two borders. Yeah, I forgot I did that. So just saying. I know, and I just realized I have a spirit led tomorrow. I'm like, oh, crap. No, it would take me two days to recover. I really think that she's on the property. I mean, you can extend any of those lines with your eyes. I can't extend them. She has to do it. So. But you also have to look at what the, what the astrology is saying, not just the lines extension. So a lot of times it'll say it's more likely to be on the property or close to the home too. So you have to do that. You know, it depends. Oh, I probably won't remember to ask a, or tell you to ask a question. Just go ahead and ask it. But Elijah actually came in the last paranormal one. He like touched the balls and then he said, "You just saw me." It was kind of crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off of the live. I don't know if a lot of people made it that far. It's about the two two hour mark. There is an old well on Summerwell's property that's never been checked. So No, I don't have it on. I didn't want it to. Um... You can do an hour and split it if you want. It just depends. Okay, that's good to know. No, you're okay. Don't worry about it. All right. But you can only usually split an hour, just saying, 30 minutes each, because it's too hard to, like, switch and everything with anything shorter. Yeah, everything's explained in the description box of the readings. Just make sure you read the description box and know that it's my my time, not your time. Uh 
I pulled the zoo card again. Now, not these are not always specific. Okay, like it can be things that are around or on the way, and they're not always like you have to perceive them how you perceive them. Um, this is interesting though. What I'm pulling for him right now. I might turn on the spirit talker in a minute. I just want to get through this first. I think they throw everybody for a loop. I always get within the vehicle with him, which is really interesting because we knew I was put in the trunk. some repeating cards. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to pull two more, but I don't know if they're going to make sense. Or three more, but I don't, I don't, okay. That makes sense. That one makes sense. All right. You guys know the area, you'll know more of what's around. Now remember, on the way or around. These seem like they make sense. Ah, okay. This one makes sense too. All right. I'll leave it at that. No, we're going to pull one more because that one makes sense too. All right. Okay. Now this is again. Yeah, it would be extended through the zoo. Correct. Yeah, I know interconnects are interesting. They're hard, but that's what I mean. Like, it'll happen around. Stuff will happen around the timing. Um, yeah, a lot of these are involving the head because of the astrology of it. There's a lot of Aries' head as well. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we have um, we have the hospital, the hospital line. Um, let me see. Move this for a second. We have the hospital card. So, again, things on the way, around the way. I know there's a hospital over there. Um, we have a forest cabin. So, it can also be, like, a remote area um, or, like, secluded area. But it's interesting because it does show a river on there or a creek, whatever that is. We have the rendezvous point, which um, des it's, like, a, also a, a meeting place or a destiny place. So, I mean, obviously... Um, I can take that as like maybe they've met there before maybe there's there's some reason why like it's familiar to them so we have the sea that area always said looks like the sea so that's the water basically right there the lake you can take it as a bay it's, it's just really huge we have amusement park so I don't know if there's an amusement park 
or an area that's like one like that. I'm not under sure I understand your... I'm not sure I understand your comment, Jennifer. I, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm understanding your comment there. Um, we have the window, so it can be a glass portal. Um, I get this card a lot, and it makes me I think of water, too, or anything that you can kind of see through. Um, or framed views as well. There's a casino card, or ca the casino, so um, that could be any type of, I don't know if you guys even having a casino there, or but it could be like betting and odds as well. And we have the zoo card again. So it's interesting because the Jupiter line goes right through the zoo. We have desert, so I'm not saying ne necessarily a desert, but sandy area. I can take that as because you goes endless horizons as well but you can you can do you know desert sand or what remind you of sand um so beauty salon or spa or some sort of area like that then we have the river you have the river he's not in green bay i am gonna tell you that he's not in green bay okay none of the lines go that way he's not in green bay um flowing waters riverbank views because i asked her if any lines go that way but it's interesting because the river is next to the bank. Okay, so I could take it as river bank, not necessarily a bank bank. Um, so perilous realm, there's a treacherous path or ominous shadows. So something's like kind of covering like there's a park, which makes it is, makes sense because I've gotten that before. Nature's haven, recreational space or picnic retreat can go for any of those. Um, grassland, so you know, an open area, grazing ground, sunlight, grass, any kind of area with like high grass as well. Elevator, it means like it's accessible. Accessible. That's why I'm taking that as because it depends on what we're looking at. Like if we were looking at somewhere with mountains or somewhere that was high, stop it. Then you would say, okay, an elevator goes high, but this, it also is like accessible accessibility. All right. Um, a coffee house. So coffee, tea, brews, pastry, anything like that. I've pulled that card a couple times on this. There's a court. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a courthouse nearby, but it could just be because justice and fairness or legal proceedings will eventually come from this regardless, because I think I've pulled that before. Um, then there's a restaurant, which makes sense because I did smell food. If it's any kind. Then we have a mystic haven. So... Like a hidden, there's hidden wisdom, magic, intrigue, or enchant, enchantment, or historic, like historic kind of area. Workplace, workspace makes me wonder. Um, I mean, it could be a place other area, other people work, but if they ever worked in any of those areas, parking lot, I mean, parking lot nearby, and the school card came in again. So I think there's a school there somewhere as well. Within the vehicle, which totally makes sense because he was in the trunk of the vehicle and he did, they did take him somewhere. So you have a library as well. And then we have the forest. So it would be the forest leading to the river that leads into the bay. Dense canopy, forest floor, nature sanctuary. You have the cemetery card again. Cinema, you can take that as a lot of different ways. I don't, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an actual cinema there, but it could be also that. Like, what's going on around this situation. Art of some sort. But this is interesting because we have the damp and rainy realm. So, moisture, wet, drizzly. I've always said that. It feels really wet and damp where he is. Bustling hub. So, cultural meeting pot, lively activity. So, that, that can be out around. Like, I always said, because I always got kind of like, he's... It's not, not really remote. Like, there's still stuff going on outside this area where he is. So, we have a heartbreak place. Lost love and grief memories of heartbreak. Um, yeah, he did. So, if he worked at a restaurant, I'd be curious what restaurant he worked at. The airport as well. It seems... I'm going to look at that again. But I'm thinking that the air this line goes over by the airport as well as the zoo. And then factory, which came in before. Industrial production. And it looks like that area by the zoo is kind of a factory place. I don't pull too much because then it starts getting inaccurate. Um, let me look at this again. 
Where's the airport at? See, there's an airport by the zoo. Okay. It's airport, zoo, bay, river. It's all there. Um, And there's a, definitely a town there. <coughs> Sorry. And this would put them on a different line, right? Is this a different city? See, the airport's right there. The zoo's right there. A park's right here. The hospital's up this way. You would pass it. The school's right there. Hospital, school, zoo, airport. I don't know if any of these, like... Indian Creek. Uh, I mean, water comes up for him a lot, but it, I don't. I think he's like off a road too. What is this area? There's a school here too. There's a park here too. Okay, wait a second. Um, and look, there's a boat area right here, like a marina. There's a lighthouse here that came in. And you would call like a harbor a sea too. So there's a bridge right here, a bridge right here. What is this right here? This would be industrial right here, right? And if he was, there's Riverview Park as well. So if he was put, it's weird because I'm pretty sure this is taking me to what my, picture look like over there i don't want to go too far i don't think he's that far that's not where the lines go um there's a hospital right there too there's another hospital right here there's a playground right here henry, henry playground i kept hearing kids look this is where I fucking, this is where I was before. What the hell? Wait, do any lines go there? Huh. The, I mean, the Jupiter line goes to this area, which I didn't know. The Chiron line. Caroline goes through here. I wonder if I'm going to want to also. It's not water. Hold on. I'm fuck I'm tripping because the Chiron line's here, the Jupiter line is here and this this area I had somebody go look at because it matches my drawing of like how one splits in one way and one splits in another. I'll show you. Where did it go? If I could find <coughs> I could find it again. There's another hospital. Hold on. Where did it go? I, I saw it right here somewhere. Um, nah. Sorry. Where did it go? I think it was... No, I can't find it again. Damn it. Chiron line goes right through the water right there. Is there any cemeteries over here by the, where the Jupiter line is? Because it seems to be that these cards are pulling to the Jupiter line. Manitou, see, Manitou Park. Is that where I, where I went? Look, this is it right here. This is where I was looking at, and I sent somebody there. Holy crap. So I don't know if you guys remember where I said I got a split in the road. I'll show you. I found it. 
And there's a playground there. So I had somebody go look here because this this is interesting. Wait, let me see. Did any of the lines go there? It could just be that I was being given a location, like, seeing where to go. Because, okay, the Chiron's really fucking close. It's right in between the Chiron and the Jupiter line. Okay. This is it. Right here. Holy crap. Okay. And it's got everything over there. All right. So check this. So, you guys remember that picture? Where the fuck did I put that picture at? Um, I, I, I don't know if I drew it in one of these, one of my notebooks here. Let me find it. See if it's here. Are you guys freaking out? Stitch, stop. It smells like fire outside, like someone has a fire lit. I think this is it right here. Okay. Look at this curve in the road. Hold on. Let me let me show you real quick. Okay. Hold on. I'm fucking tripping out right now. Hold on. Because that goes by where I was looking at. And I tried to send somebody there. And they said they looked, but they couldn't find anything. But if he's in the water, then... Yeah, description box. Let, let me go over these comments real quick. So description box, there's a simply book uh, link. You can just go in the description box of this video and any video to find it. Um, but yeah, my link tree, it's on there as well. Yeah, he worked washing boats in that marina. So that makes sense because his work is right there. Um, I don't think they've been the exact area I've asked for because I've said go out to the lake and yeah. Um, so this is what I want to show you guys. Do you guys remember when I drew this map? I said my maps are usually right. So remember when I said, like, it go there's a crossroad, like, it goes this way, and then one goes, like, curves. Has a really big curve to it, right? Remember? Really big curve. Okay. And then I said that way, around the curve, you would hear a boat. So this, in this map, if you take the river all the way down, it's going to lead you to the marina where the boats are. So that's interesting. Um, now check this out. <coughs> Look at this right here. You see this curve? Okay, this is where I sent somebody. There's actually a, pl a playground right here where, like, you can hear kids screaming. Okay, so look at that. Now, again, I'm not saying that's exactly where he is, but it could be a reference spot to try to say, okay, so, um, and there's like a playground right here. Okay, so now if we go out, so whatever I show you guys is it's not always like where they're at it can just be reference points so say he was put in around there somewhere look where he and look at where that is his Chiron line is right here that goes through the freaking airport which I just pulled that card and in Quentin's second reading I talked about having planes fly over me and I, I think that there it's an interconnect because we, we look at this kid as almost like Quentin. I mean, there is a marsh right there. I don't know what that area is right there, but a car line goes right through. Stop. <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne. Stop. Please. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. So look at this. This area is literally in between the Chiron and the Jupiter line. Curious now. The moon goes out into the water. 
Watch if he's putting and he said he worked at this boat. So we got the work here. If he worked at this marina, there's a lighthouse there. Yeah, I would say this is another area of interest. I would say this is another hot spot. So we got the moon line, which I'm hooked on the moon line because it, it usually rules kids. But now learning from Dylan that we can do that his son went there. I mean, there's a hospital, there's the bay, there's um, the lighthouse, the harbor. This comes out like that. I wonder if trash builds up here. There's the, the boat area. Um, this would put us in another line, like another city. I think we have the playgrounds here. We have the zoo here. The, the freaking line goes right here. Now I'm curious because I keep pulling that freaking zoo card. The zoo's there. The airport's there. Like a lot of shit. I bet you there's more stuff in here that like it's bustling because look at what's around it. It's all there's all like stuff around it. I mean, I'm sure there's a coffee place in there and whatnot and restaurants and all that. I'm sure of it. Look, the museum. So you can take the, the art place or whatever as a museum, too. Dog park, dogs barking. Um, library. There's a library right there. Holy crap. And I have to clip this out too for another thing for Elijah because. Look, and it's got, like, there's railroad tracks. There's, um like, you know, like, not necessarily a factory, but industrial type. Look, Happy Art Studio. Art. I don't know. I'm getting excited here because I'm seeing all the stuff, the cards that I pulled. It's all in one spot. I like those ocean cards. They're more specific. Huh. Then we got the hospital here. There's one over here, too. It, a damp area. Like, there's a park here. So, I mean, just in case he's not in the water, which I think he is, but this area should be looked at because it goes right between the Chiron line and the Saturn line goes right there. Like, it's right in between those two lines. And it's got everything that I pulled the cards for. Let me, am I missing something? Airport, there's forest there, library. Oh, God, I'm looking for a coffee house because I pulled that card a couple times here. Is there a coffee house around here? I think there's a park on the Cheyenne. Stop. What is your problem? Stop. Shh. You're making the ball go off. Stop. He's making the ball go off. That's not. Look, there's a mu there's another museum. I'm looking for another graveyard over here, though. Someone said there was. I don't see it. There's a golf course. See, that keeps coming up in cases too. I was I got I was getting the golf course during Elijah, so I'm just wondering. Crossroads. Concert. So mu music. Windy area. Flowers. Plant care, blossoming colors, gardening, flower, florals. Um, what is that? I mean, there's an art museum there, literally. There's the middle school. There's a dog park again. 
I don't know why my sh it's not letting me move. Okay. Is that a courthouse? That's a courthouse. I'm gonna oh no, that's the museum. Hold on. I saw something else though. Oh, Lighthouse Park, Union Park. There's a lot of parks around there. Makes sense. I've gotten the crossroads many times. Yeah. I'd be interested in this because it literally... Cheyenne, stop. It, there's dogs barking outside, not mine, but someone else. See, there is a factory area right here, even if it's like the the water thing. Public utilities. There's lots of schools around that area, too. I saw. Beach. Beach card. It's definitely, I would stay, I would stay by the water. I would I would check this area because I keep pulled. That's the third time I pulled the zoo card. Um. Yeah. So the courthouse kid doesn't necessarily mean where he's at. I just was curious if there was one around there. No, the cat balls were going off for um. My dog was barking, so sometimes if he barks, they'll the bark it'll go off. Okay, the blanket was found by the airport. All right, so he must not be far from that blanket, just not like cl as close as people think for the for looking. Um, I'm not saying he's in the zoo. So remember, it's just giving us an, a low an, a way to go, like a location to go to. Yeah, it's and 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 I'm learning too. Like you can use all the lines. So it was right on Dylan. We just didn't extend it enough. So. Um, yeah. That's true. That's true. Sometimes they do. So that's interesting about the blanket being found at the airport. Sorry, I'm like looking at this map because I'm trying to find like everything that I'm pulling here. A hotel. Or a retreat, a hotel or retreat, but <clears throat> I'm looking for like a coffee shop. You said he used to work in a restaurant. I mean, it could be that, but I smelt food before. But I mean, I could even pick that up that he worked at a restaurant. You know what I mean? It's interesting because the Chiron line goes right through the freaking airport. Well, and that makes sense because the Chiron, I hope I'm saying that right because I don't want people bitching at me again. Um, it does go right through the airport and it also goes through see see this is where this goodwin road in north 8th street that's where the blanket was found and the airport's right here so that's very interesting to me that i pulled the airport and the zoo's right there so interesting 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 see I learn all, all cases. So when I saw that happen with Dylan, I was like, well, maybe I need to extend the lines on other cases and try to look at other areas they go. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on because that taught me something. To focus on all the lines, not just one. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what's in between. See, there's a good one and there's the... Yeah, so it was the airport. You're right. I'm looking for a, um, a cemetery here. <clears throat> can't believe I'm actually doing this today. I was like, you know what? I want to go on and talk about cases for some reason. I was so excited about Dylan. Because it like, I got, I would, that was probably one of my most accurate readings when he put everything together. Plus it's describing James Brenner and everything. Um, yeah. So there's two lighthouses there. So that's freaking interesting. Because I remember seeing a lighthouse. Yeah. This is interesting. I mean, if there's any wooded areas, I would say, but it seems like I'm really interested between these two lines. Because this is hit evidence. 
I mean, she extended this way out. I just don't think he's that far. Because I'm pulling the beach and I'm pulling the lake and I'm pulling the river. So I would want to stay near the water. So this is very, this is an area of interest for me. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of parks around there. I would hear a lot of kids. The sky. Shh. It's okay. They're just barking. So a bench, um, rest and relaxation place, and a temple, spiritual practices. So you could go to church or a temple of some sort. Um, I was looking for... Is there a cemetery over here? Does anybody know? Yeah, we our Chiron line hit it. Yeah, good ones by the airport. Did I, did you just see it or do I need to go back? I mean, Applebee's a restaurant. Yeah. Um. I'm just wondering about these because they can be between two lines because there's a place in Sebastian's chart where we have the Saturn and I think Chiron line are like really close together. It would make sense. Um, by Jesse's, yeah, I know by Jesse's there's a cemetery, so that could again, it might not always just be where he is, so that could be talking about the cemetery over there. But I thought there was a cemetery here, I thought I saw one one time, that's why I'm looking because I swore I thought I saw one, but maybe I didn't. I don't know, I've looked at this map a million, <coughs> million freaking times, and I mean, there is a hospital right here, like literally right by the water. I remember getting a hospital in um, Dulce, too. And it seems like she's got a lot of interconnections in her readings for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, and she's a kid missing. So take it as you will. Yeah, so I'm trying to use all the tools possible for to, to narrow locations down the best that I can. Fortunately, I can't just, like... Bowling has been on my mind, too, but I don't know where it would fit. I just think it's interesting that this... The lines go, and then, like, right here is that... And I know somebody said they checked the park, but nobody checked the water. And, I mean, it only had a couple people looking. What are you chewing on? Don't chew on her collar. Stop that. Good boy. Hey, stop chewing on her. Stop chewing on her collar. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Puppy likes to chew on my old girl's collar. He pretty much listens. He's pretty good about that. I was just saying that rubber tracks go over that. Bridge. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so psychic. I was just thinking of the bridge. Um, I was like, I wonder if the next card's going to be Bridge. Um, <laughs> and I just pulled a Bridge card, and there's like a little bridge right here. No, the I'll, sh I'll show you where the blanket was. The blanket's right here, girl. I, I just showed you. It's where the Chiron line goes. So look, there's a bridge right there. I'm laughing so hard because I was just looking at that bridge and the next card was the bridge card. I mean, it's a railroad bridge, but it's still a bridge. It's freaking funny. I was like, watch, watch the bridge card. It's in our area. I mean, it's right before. So see this red dot right here? That's where it was found. The airport's right here. Okay. Our Chiron line hits it. So I was trying to say to you guys. See? Oh, there is a cemetery by the zoo? Okay, I'm missing it somehow. Hold on. I knew there was. I know I've been seeing it somewhere. Um, he said diagonal to the zoo? Why would they put a cemetery by a zoo? That's weird. Is this right here? 
You said diagonal to the zoo? Looks like a golf course. A zoological society? Uh, a little Manitoc River. There's a river that goes through right there. Look, it goes under this road right here. Um, whenever I was getting the golf course, I was thinking about it with Elijah. I'm just wondering if it's going to hit multiple cases. I don't know. See, there would be like a... I can't find it. I know I've seen that damn cemetery here somewhere. That's interesting. The groups meet group meets at a theater, so that could be the validation for that. Um, follow the green line for the cemetery above the pictures, because I've always gotten I've always gotten cemetery for him since Audrey. He said, "Follow the green line up." Where? I don't see it. I know there's one there. I've seen it somewhere. That's taking me all the way to, all the way to the dunes. No. It's just interesting that I'm picking, uh, that I've pulled cards for everything in between these two lines. Gardens. Gardens. Flowers. West of Lake Gardens. Is that real, is that real flowers? What is that? Ah, flowers. Okay. I pulled that, pulled that card. Flowers, floral, floral card. Um, you got the floral card right here. There's the, there's the, um, there's the floral card. The gardens. Oh my god, I found gardens. The 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 blanket was right at that red line where I just showed you. That's where the blanket was. Our carbon line hits it. Can't believe I just found a garden though. Yes. Okay, and it's right by the zoo. Wow. I'm like excited now. Um, okay. Goodwin Road North 8. That's where the this is right here is where the blanket was found. It does go through. It's right by the airport, right here, where our Cairo line was. Okay. 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 This area is very important to me now because just found the freaking garden it's right by the water too and there's the art museum and i pulled these cards before i really looked at this map so Nightclub. I don't want to pull too many. Frigid Realm. So it's cold there right now. Lighthouse! Pulled the lighthouse. I just I don't want to keep pulling cards because eventually I'll pull all the cards, right? But lighthouse, lighthouse, lighthouse. Can't believe I, I even didn't even know I had a loot a, a lighthouse. Um 
<laughs> it's like go up no down no stop go down <laughs> yeah i try wrong let's see and go down okay but is there a cemetery there okay okay awesome chuck okay or in the river can you take it in the river and go into the lake because you see where i'm looking at right chuck Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at my email recently. Um, where I'm at? Okay, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> um, okay, she said go down, 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 down. As long as there is one and I'm, I'm just probably missing it because I'm, I don't know. I get so disoriented on maps sometimes. Like, it's I'm having fun like trying to find all look the lighthouse came in it's all in this freaking area everything look the library the museum the art place the um the <coughs> where he used to work at the boats right there the boats um the river that goes into the bay i think i got water something in my other cards um, there's schools, there's the airport. Um, this is so crazy. I can't believe it's all there. She said, go down. There's got, you guys said there's a cemetery. So I'm cool if there's a cemetery. I just can't find it because I mean, there's a funeral home, <laughs> but which also a church, it looks like there's a church there, which I just pulled the church or spiritual practices. Um, yeah. I mean, this would make sense, right? Say they put the blanket over there and then they kept going this direction. This would make sense. And and I know they searched areas very close to where the blanket was, but I don't think they expanded out. I still can't find the cemetery. <laughs> I'll be on here all night looking for the thing. <coughs> I mean, the hospital's right there. Like, everything's here. I can't believe I just pulled the lighthouse. I didn't even know I had that card in there. All right. Well, if you guys say there's a cemetery, then I'll believe you. I can't find it. Not here anyways. Oh, yeah. Yep. These two lines are interesting. Everything's in between them. And the moon line can be where he ends up. So if you're going to go, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, any of these lines can be where he ends up, not necessarily where he was put. Just keep that in mind. But um, also, you know, between the lines, these conjunct. So that's kind of interesting. And this one, this is the Uranus line. So Uranus and Jupiter are conjunct for a while, from my understanding. And actually, there's something happening April 20th that may cause an earthquake from our solar system. And it has to do with that conjunction. But they're they're conjunct in a lot of cases recently because of where they are right now. So this also, this Uranus line also goes into the water. You know. But this kind of looks like the area... Does it, let me ask. Does, does trash... Um, somebody said he washed he washed boats at some point at this at this marina right here. Um, the weather being broke, starting working kept me from searching i'm sorry chuck um i think if you want to put your donation i think people might donate for you to go look but the um so apparently yeah applebee's because i mean his his uranus line also goes into the water right here this is the area i would focus on for reals i mean the only other area that the lines go is over here. But I was told that was private. And I none of those cards are pulling that. 
none of the cards are are coming up for that is this area right here the serenity area i mean they kind of go through there but Yep. Oh, crap. Come on. I hate when my fucking thing does this. It's weird, because there's a haven down here. And I was like, New Haven? Or Haven down. Not saying that he's in Haven. I'm just saying maybe they were trying to tell me to go that way on a map. I mean, this is where his moon line goes. It still goes into the water. But it seems that there's a lot around this Jupiter line I keep pulling, which... Is luck, and we just had a Chiron. The solar eclipse was just in. It just did pass over Chiron. Um, I wonder where it hit in his chart. So yeah, this is super interesting to me now. Because if the blanket was found here, say so they just kept going this way, because I know that they searched like all around here probably for the blanket, right? Because that makes sense. But I don't think they would have expanded it this far. So I think that makes sense. The blue line is the moon line, girl. The blue line. The blue line is the moon line. This green line right here is Jupiter. This little one up here is Uranus. We didn't expand it that far. This is the Chiron car, the, the Chiron line. The other two are the Ascendant and the, the Saturn line. But they're not, it's not going anywhere about this with the the direction I'm going. Hey, welcome. Um Okay, 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 I'll look. Someone circling it? Okay. Um, zoo, cemetery, cemetery, evergreen cemetery. There's like three cemeteries there. Okay. Four cemeteries. Interesting. All right. Thanks for doing that. All right. So there's a bunch of cemeteries there. So, yeah. Okay. Sheila, can you meet up with Chuck? Okay. That's interesting. Um... Yeah, if someone would meet up with Chuck, Chuck, if you have an email or some way, some way that someone can reach you, it seems that a lot of these things are in this area. I, I'm winding path, we, winding path card. I just keep pulling cards. <laughs> Nature, love. Okay, so if you guys can hook up, um. Yeah, if you guys can hook up maybe Saturday or something, that would be awesome. And he's got a boat with sonar. That's awesome. So, yeah. For real. And then I'll probably cut this out and put it on his on his um, playlist so that we have it for his stuff. Yeah. So make sure if you can, like, um, share maybe an email or something. You guys can get in touch with each other. Okay, interesting. And that's where, that's, that Henry, that Henry freaking park, okay, is where that picture is. I swear it looks like that picture. 
Um, yeah, that's exactly where that picture looks like where I said it went one direction. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I would say yeah, because this is this is where the evidence is kind of being found right now. I mean, and then we have this Jupiter line that's just into the river right there. Into the river, and then it goes this way, which I don't think is relevant. It's over here. It is over here, real quick. Like, I don't think he's like in one of these ponds or something. I really, because we got the the lake and the bay and the beach and the river. I really, I really want to stay on that. Like, I don't want to get away from that, especially with the readings pointing all that direction as well. Yeah, it's always just puzzle pieces, you know? It's interesting there's boats right here, though. Can't believe I found gardens there. Yep, and then there we have the golf course. Like, that's when I started getting it was around Elijah's, and then it happened to hit Riley's. I mean, that would make sense if it's on the other side of where the blanket was found. They wouldn't have doubled back. Unless they got rid of him first, you know. I hate to say that, but... Yeah, that's where the blanket was right there. It goes right through the airport. Yep. This is interesting. I'm just tripping over this. That that's It takes me back to where I was like a couple... A few weeks ago. I think it was like a month ago. All right. Oh, I accidentally... Look at that. <laughs> they're in jail right now. Crane just said there's train tracks and lake. All right, we've got all the water cards here. River, lake, bay. So, yeah, lake. Yeah, but I think they continued this way. The blanket... It was not anywhere near him, but... It's still, our Chiron line hits it, and then we have the Jupiter line over here. Everything is in this area. Look, we even have train tracks, lake, because that's a lake, it's a bay, whatever, and they're in jail right now. Church. We, all, we already got the spiritual practices one. So all that, I mean, I pulled a bunch of cards, but. I mean, it's almost like they dropped it, but then they went somewhere else. So, I mean, it could still, it could still hit there. All right. So I think that's good for Elijah. I think we have an area of interest now to kind of check out if, you know, and if you feel up to it, the moon line, if nothing's there, I mean, the moon line is also significant, but it seems like everything is on this between this Jupiter and Chiron line, specifically the Jupiter line. So, I mean, that makes sense. So if you guys could, um, whoever's in the area, you want to meet up with Chuck, leave your email there so you guys can get and get, you know, hook up with each other. No, I mean, it's definitely put there for a reason. Um, I just think that, that maybe they continue going that direction. And I want to show you guys something, kind of switching gears here. I mean, I really think that there's everything in this area of the, all the cards I just pulled. That would match the it would match the readings too with the lighthouse and everything. I mean, our Jupiter line is right here. Bam hits that museum. Bam hits this. It's this park is right, th and that's so crazy because it matches my freaking picture. This that's why I sent somebody there. But I mean, I think they just went there and looked for a little bit and and look. Holy Family Covenant. We have the Spiritual Practices card. It's like in there too. Every, everything's in this area. Just saying. 
Yeah, but I'm thinking we need to go, seeing how accurate the astrology was with Dylan, we just didn't extend it far enough, and it was a totally different line line than what we thought it was. Like, it was the sun line, which makes sense because it kind of rules body sometimes. Um, I don't know if she did all of the lines, but she did the most relevant lines. Um, I could always ask her to add more lines, but it just to see because... Um, I mean, I'll ask her tomorrow and see if she wants to add any more lines for me. I hate asking her to do that. I can't wait till I learn how to do that stuff on my that stuff on myself. Um, I'm working with this is actually called the place oracle, and then I also have a people oracle one. So, yeah, they're cool. I got them on Amazon, so they are. I, I love them so far because they're more specific, but they're called the Place Oracle. This is, here, let me remove this because this is what they look like, the Place Oracle. Yeah. Just type that in um, Amazon. It should come up. All right. So I think we got everything we need to do on Elijah. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> well, us Aquarians are pretty intelligent sometimes. <laughs> You're welcome. They're cool. There's they also have a people one. So the people one's pretty cool. It like it gives all these different kinds of things that people can do. No, I mean I think it's I don't think he's anywhere near the blanket, but I think it's still kind of relevant in some way because if you would keep going, the Chiron line, and then we have the Jupiter line, like everything is in between there. So that's interesting to me. I'll see if there's any other lines we can use, but it's just interesting because actually for Riley, um, the lines that went in the water were Jupiter and Uranus. They were the only lines that went in the water. Yeah. And sometimes it's directions. So yeah, Chuck, I would, because I just pulled all the cards and everything in, in the cards were in between these lines, specifically this Henry area, because that's the second time I've been there and, Actually, that it does like split off because I said it like kind of curves. Um, that's interesting. And then we have the railroad track right along there too, and the lighthouse and everything. So, and it kind of goes out into like an area like I was thinking of, like maybe where trash would go or whatever. Like you know how it goes in from a, a little tiny area into the lake, like a runoff kind of thing. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to kind of do the same thing with Sebastian, and I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing a lot more work on Sebastian because I have no one looking where I say, um, we're going to extend the lines out and see, but my reading did point to the, the that river right there. Um, I literally heard that word, but it does interconnect Riley, and I mean, we can see if it goes to any other water areas, but they never searched that whole river. All the lines go right through there, but that whole river was never searched. So, um, I don't think he's in that lake. I think he's in, we got the beach area. So, I would say beach, beach area, bay, like I would say it's the big one. So, I get to a point. I mean, I just don't, I mean, according to his chart, he's in water and I've got, I've got all the water cards. You got the lake card, the river card, the bay card, which that looks like a bay to me. Um, his, he's got, you know, I just very damp or water area. 
<laughs> Sorry. So, are we done with Elijah? Can we move on for tonight? Like, there's only so much I can do on cases. Like, like I say, I try to do as much as I can, but it comes a point where it's just repetitive. And it's just like, okay, you got to wait for things to happen. Um, so, and I, I get more like pulled away from the area. Like the more readings I do, the more inaccurate it seems to be. Um, and it kind of gets all over the place. So I'd say the first couple readings are most accurate. And then we bring in, you know, the astrology and then we bring in the cards and it's using all of these tools together. Um, what's private property? I don't think he's on private property. I don't know who's, I don't, I don't know what private property you guys are talking about. I mean, all of this is in this area. It goes between the two lines. I'm curious if we did another line, if it would go straight through there. I'm going to ask her if there's any more she can do. But anyways, with Seb like Sebastian's same thing. Like, I don't feel like I can do any more readings. It was kind of direct to the point on his reading. The astrology is direct and to the point. That whole river was not searched. They did not search by a bridge. Somebody said they searched your area. They went along the sides on the lake. They did not search the whole river. They did not search by the by the bridge. I feel like a bridge is important for Sebastian. Um, thank you so much, Chuck, for going out and doing this for me, though. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to message me on Facebook or email me or whatever. My link tree is in my description box. All my ways to reach me are there. If you need my help in any way, just reach out. And I can also help put you in touch with Sheila because I talked to her. So if you want to put your email in the chat for people to reach you to go sh um, searching with you, you're more than welcome to do so as well. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean he's on private property. You just be near it. I just, I don't think he's on private property. I don't think they did that. I mean, you have the whole lake there, that you, river and lake, they could put somebody in and they'd never be found, depending on how you do it. So, yeah, I just have a little bit of a cough. Um, So, I'm going to switch to Sebastian's astrology chart. I'm going to extend the lines and I'll pull some cards. The same thing I did with Elijah and we'll see what we can come up with. I did pull a casino card. There's a casino along the river with him before. Um. So no one wants to listen to me on this case, which is fine. Things happen the way they're meant to happen. I'm not going to step on anybody's toes. I just put out the information. People want to follow it. They follow it. It was sent to multiple people and we were kind of ignored. So it is what it is. That's fine. Um, I It's just there. So um, all right, let me, let me remove this real quick. So I, I do have to say that we feel from the astrology and my readings that he is 100% in the river. He's not in a pond. It's called the, the, the place oracle. Yeah, and I'm not doing this mapping. My friends are like I am in no way any type of, you know, um, I'm learning. Let's just say that. I'm learning. She's learning. We're learning how it works together and all of that. So we're doing the best that we can. This is going to be the most accurate way to find somebody because, again, it's not like most of us can just point on a... There are psychics that can, yes, point on a map or better on a map or better feeling things. I am not. So this is... I'm trying to use everything I can. Um, so... According to Sebastian's chart, he is in the river. Um, and Christy's chart allegedly matches our chart from what I was told. So according to my reading, a bridge is important. A river is important. And again, 
he has a stellium in Pisces for his crime chart, not birth chart. And therefore, that's all water. Um, yeah, so the peoples are the character or oracle cards. Yeah, so I got the place and the, the um, character oracle cards. Yeah, they're like 16 bucks each or something like that. I just felt they would be a good um, good thing for me to do. Or, you know, a good thing for me to use, a good tool. So, okay. I'm going to, let me see. There is no other water that it hits. So, to validate this chart, the moon line goes towards Kentucky, which is literally you know it's ruled it's ruled by the mom the virgo who she's pretend you know she acts like a virgo but she's really black moon lilith allegedly um that literally goes down to kentucky where she has family and connections and where they were looking in the um landfill so okay all of these other lines i mean they extend I don't see any other water they would extend to. I don't think he's that far, but he could be. So, you know, not, you have to think too, not all the times are they far. So you can extend the, well, we will extend these lines the best that I can without drawing them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's usually probably not going to be on the descendant. It can be the ascendant. So we want to focus on all of these lines right here because the moon in this case is going to represent the mother. It goes the other direction. All right. Um, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. <laughs> and she extended this one way the hell out because I asked her to. Into another water area. Um, duck river i just again i don't think he's that far because the reading stated cumberland before she did this map so i don't get away from my reading either um but there is another far away place in cumberland so we're gonna just try to do this again um let you know what let me i think if i should pull the cards first let me we know it's not related but it's still in the, there's still in a government property in the area so we have to remember that these are not always things that are exactly where it is it's like around the area in the area i'm not saying he's in the government area okay i'm saying that it's a reference point so cards are reference points okay cards are reference points all right yeah, but the other side is not government property. The other side is not. One side is, one side is not. I pulled the government card because it's a reference point in the areas. Oh, okay. So that could be the rendezvous point. So maybe I wonder where the rendezvous point was. I normally pick him up at because I got the rendezvous. Unless it's just they they met to swap him. Um, and we're talking about Elijah real quick. Um, so it can just come up in the cards, even if it's not specifically relevant to where he's at. Okay. And I'll, I guess maybe I'll do Summers. I have her map. So we'll do Sebastian Summers.
But I never like to send anybody on wild goose chases, so just know I'm not saying, you know, just giving you guys possible locations to be checked, to be looked at. Between readings, cards, and astrology, they're all pointing to one area, so... Somebody, if you want to put your number or your, well, I wouldn't put your number. I'd put your email. And that way the people that live there can can contact you, Chuck. Or if I can help you get in contact with somebody. Um, you can just email me or message me. My, my information is in the description box below. Yes. It is Sebastian's map. We're on Sebastian now. I would say all of them are important. We just learned that from Dylan's. No, he's in the water. River. His astrology chart states river. Like, he's got so much Pisces, it's ridiculous. Sebastian wasn't running. That's not me that said that. His astrology points allegedly to the mom represented by Black Moon Lilith in the chart as an evil woman. He wasn't running. Yeah, I just don't know if you want people seeing your phone number. and You might get all kinds of calls from everybody. So I'm just saying, I don't know. Yeah, no. He, did, he didn't run from home. He... He didn't run from home. It's all in his astrology part. Backs up the reading, like, basically to the T. And she did the astrology chart after. Unfortunately, you know. Okay. Well, if you want to repost it, go ahead and post it. I'll put it on the screen. Just didn't want crazy people calling you. Go ahead and put it back in the chat and I'll post it on the screen so that people that are going to be there can get a hold of you. All right. That doesn't necessarily mean it's him. And although you guys know that 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 one at the pond, that was a false hit, right? You guys know that that wasn't him. He's not in a pond. Could literally be anybody's. I mean, anybody's footprint. Thank you. Yeah, Chuck, put your put your um, digits back in the chat, and I'll put it up.
Yeah, I'm not just going by my readings. I, I'm going by my readings, the astrology, and cards. So I'm trying to use every tool available to try to validate everything. I don't see it. Is it why is it not popping up? I think maybe it's not popping up because you shouldn't be putting your phone up right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's not um your phone number isn't popping up. I don't see it over here either. I don't see it. Nope. It's not on my end. I just don't know if maybe it's YouTube thing. I think maybe you can see it, but they can't. Maybe put it in the comments. I don't know. You can put emails, but I, maybe you can't put phone numbers. Maybe try to do it without dash, like without dashes. Maybe it'll work without dashes. I'm going to reshuffle these. Oh. Now remember, these are things on and around. Just pull the river card. Saying. He's not in a pond. Okay? Just want to throw that out there. He is not in a pond, in my opinion, and in, according to the astrology charts. He is in the river, according, again to my reading and the astrology charts. Just what part of the river I'm wondering if this is going to validate any of it. Because it could be things past, things on the way, things having to do with the case. Keep that in mind. Okay? And the bridge card for the fucking third time. Sorry, freaking third time. Let's put them here and pull them as I feel. Okay. So we tried to get them to listen or to search and they did not. So I'm just saying. All right. We tried. They want to follow everybody else. Let them go. I, I can only do what I can do. Whoever wants to listen to me, fine. If you don't, fine. I can't can't chase my tail in a circle about it. 
Um, so I'm just going to go over the cards again. Places that were known in this case or known to the victim or the family. Places around the area. Places having to do with the um, case. Okay. So we have the bathroom, which is also representative of water as well. Okay. Water and renewal. We have the sky. So sometimes I'm noticing I'm pulling the sky like if someone's passed. But also it can be a place where there's good cloud. Like you can see the clouds really well. Um, or it's an infinite universe. All right, we have the living room. I pulled that card twice, even after I shuffled it. So I don't know what happened in the living room. So you have mountains. You know that there are mountains in that area, or it's a mountainous in the background area. Or it's also a grander perspective or elevation. So say he was dropped from somewhere higher, it's elevation thing. Or maybe the elevation's a little bit higher where he is within the vehicle. Oh, I need to hold on, remove this real quick. Within the vehicle. Um, so, again, there he was put in a vehicle and taken somewhere. So, we have a laboratory. That can be one that's in the area, or it can be just that they're doing DNA stuff, that there might be something that comes from the DNA as well. Um, we have nightclubs. So, I don't know if there's a nightclub in there around there, but it could also be having to do with, like, I don't know if you guys said he went bowling or whatever, but um, dance floor, neon lights, um, parking lot. Somewhere there's a parking lot nearby, school, uh, countryside. So it could also be like what looks like countryside. We have a park. We have the beach. So you can take the beach as an area where the river, you know how sometimes there's beachy areas near the river. Again, beauty salon, jail. So hopefully they go. Um, Supermarket, I don't know if that has anything to do around it. Temple, you can say spiritual practices. A temple, any place is spiritual. Um, scorching lands, so may have been a place where there was a fire at some point. Scorched earth, something of that sort. The casino again came in. So we're going to look for that because that's the third time I've pulled that card. Have the museum card again. You have the roof card. So it's interesting I pull a lot of like higher up cards. Um... Post office, that's interesting. That can also be like package tracking or written correspondence, text messages, anything like that. Um, we have the grassland. So place that there's sunlit grass or really high high grass or, or you know, wide open spaces, I guess. Um, library. Or you could also say researching, reading nooks. The bank I keep pulling. You could take that as a river bank or you could take that as a bank. Um, I pulled it next to the river last time, so that's interesting. It came in again. We have a place of remembrance, so nostalgia memories, uh, you know, things like that. And then we have the river card. I'm telling you, he is in the river. According to my readings and according to the astrology with all the damn Pisces, he's in the river, allegedly, okay? He may wash up at some point, but According to the astrology, with all that Pisces, like a stellium is a bunch of planets in one one house, one area. Um, she she said it to me as an astellium. I don't know if you can actually use that when explaining a crime chart, but that's what she said to me. So because I know that it means a bunch of planets. So he's got all a lot of Pisces. Um, we have another coffee house, um, court. Hopefully they go, but I know that they were also in court with um, Seth as well. Um, so we have like an e economic hub or business area as well. And we have a lake. So remember, in my reading, I said a smaller river that opens up into a bigger area, like a lake or something like that. Yes, he's got a head injury. There's Aries. Um, so again, smaller area opening into a bigger area. And we'll look at the lines in a minute. We have a cemetery card as well windswept region so windy area which sometimes during the airy expanse i wonder if that means like it'll move the case along it can be windswept region but if you take it another way um street and the freaking bridge for the third time just saying also came in the reading i got a lot of references to ganon so if you think about ganon ganon was thrown off a bridge just saying okay 
And plus, he doesn't have a boat. How else are you going to get him in a deeper area of the water? That's what I kept trying to say during the live that no one listened to me. I pulled the bridge three times. Um, I I, I kind of go where I'm led. So, guys, please don't put cases in there. Like, I, I already have my hands full on the cases I'm working and the cases that are coming up. One case leads to another for me. I don't really pick the cases they pick me. So... river damn it fuck yeah they didn't search the whole and the river goes into the lake right there so what's interesting too is we were finding out that the chiron the chiron um area i always say that word wrong so please don't come at me chiron um line goes um and that's just me because i can't pronounce shit right so the chiron line goes right there uh where the um saturn line is so now, as I've said, like, we have to try to figure out. I would, I would, I appreciate that. And I appreciate people wanting me to work on it. I'm just like, I get overwhelmed because I understand people want me to do a lot of different cases, but I kind of have to go where spirit leads me. All right. So in my reading, the river literally said Cumberland. I think it interconnects Riley because they went missing around the same time. Keep in mind, the astrology at that time was all about bodies coming out of rivers. If we think about it, we had Audrey, we had Riley, we had that one, plus a bunch of others. So there was a lot of water going on in the astrology at that time, and there's a lot of water in his chart. Okay, so pushing that. <laughs> they did not check the whole river. Someone said they checked your area. No, they did. They checked a little bit of that lake. That was it. That lake is huge because I was actually drawn to the Chiron line. So let me see if we can find... Um, any of those things here on this map. So if it, if we extend. Okay, wait a second. So is the Ascendant? Okay, the Ascendant does go kind of into a mountain area, though. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> i don't feel like using drake's creek because it's like two feet of water like we're looking for dark or like deep water okay so we have pluto was one degrees aquarius um lots of right here it goes straight through the river both of these do um, they're kind of conjunct. So even if we extend it out, if we extend both of these, it goes through the other side of the river. Okay. And look. Just saying there's a bridge there. I mean, it, it's a freeway bridge, but it's still a bridge. All right. Oh, I think that's the green one. Okay. So this line would go straight into the river right here. Um, these lines would go straight into the river right here if we extended it. If we extended it anymore, I don't really think it's going to hit any more water. Maybe a different side of the river. So if we extended this one, this is actually Venus. Um, if we extended this one, it would hit this. There's also seems to be a lot of Aquarius in this case, which different astrologists will say, you know, rules fast running water. I don't know. So even if we extend this, it goes into this part of the river. And if we extend these two, it'll it'll end up hitting the river too. It's interesting because Charlie keeps coming in. There's a Charlie Daniels Park right there. And if we go to the Saturn line, which usually rules bodies for the most part, 
Um, sometimes we like to focus on that line. Again, we're going to follow all the lines because in Dylan's, it was something that we didn't expect. I mean, I, I mean, I should have expected it. I just was trying to go by what she was telling me. Um, it goes through here. And these, these other lines, again, go through here on the other side of the dam. Okay. And the Saturn line goes again, right here through this river right here. Let's see. There's a park there. But I think we need to look for a bridge, really. There's a golf course. Again. Goes through the water. Goes through the water. Goes through the water, goes through the Stones River, which runs into uh, there. Okay, even if we... Wait, is that a bank? Well, there's a school right there. So there's a school right there. Um, there's a church right there. Well, that's interesting. Extend it out. It doesn't really hit any more water. Like, this is the only water that it hits. I mean, I guess the ascendant line... The ascendant line um, rules our victim, and it did work in Dylan's case. So, even if we were to extend this ascendant line, which looks like it goes through the mountains... It goes through the Cumberland River still, right here. But that is the mountains. So I'd be curious. There's a church. There's. Because I, I reshuffled and I got the mountains again. So now I'm just wondering about his ascendant line. Or even these two red lines go through here. In Nashville. But there's no lake. There's a bridge right there. There's a bridge right there over the water, a different kind. I mean, any kind of bridge over water. Okay. That's interesting because that's in the. Um, so that is the ascendant, right? Yeah. I mean, the ascendant line did go to where Dylan was. So, I mean, sometimes it can be where bodies are. But that's interesting because there's mountains there. And I pulled that mountain card. Um, it's hard because if he's in the river, I don't know. They move through the river. The Chiron card is the, or the Chiron, um, was literally what I was drawn to in this one. I don't know why I just did that. Um, and it's conjuncting with his North Node. So, I mean, it doesn't really go into any river. It goes right here. This is kind of where I was. Let me zoom into this because I zoomed into this before and I was really like interested in this area for some reason. There's a school right there. There's a bridge right here. And lake can just be wider area. It doesn't mean it's an actual lake. It just be a wider area because in my vision, it was smaller area into a wide, wider area. What's interesting with this, though, is we have the Jupiter and Uranus. Jupiter, Uranus line right here conjunct his Saturn line. So I thought that was interesting because I think the solar eclipse hit his north node, if I'm, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um, I mean, if you extend it out, it does go to Highway 40, but it doesn't hit any water. I 
I mean, for this river down here, um, I just don't think. I was just looking because I got Lancaster a long time ago. Would this be considered a lake right here? Yeah, it is a lake. Hmm. I got Buffalo, too, in another reading. Um, that woman that was found, the mom that was found. I don't think any of his lines go that way. Because um, I have gotten Lancaster and Buffalo. That's kind of interesting. It's not going to hit that way. Those lines are not going to hit that. Oh, it'll hit right here. It'll hit this part of the river. I don't know what river that is. Hmm. There's some words I've gotten here before, but I just don't know. It seems far. I mean, it hits the lower part of the river right here. If we were to extend that line, that what line is that? So that's the Uranus line. Somebody said there was a. Uh, Um, what, Roscoe? Someone said there was a casino here somewhere. Um, I don't know where in the river that casino, excuse you, where that casino is. Uh, there's a bridge right here, too. Yeah, the Uranus goes right through the... What I'm trying to find is... Where's that casino? That's the second time I pulled that casino card. <coughs> no, I don't know what the bridge looks like. It's just a bridge. Or uh, it can be an overpass. Whatever you're going to throw, you know. We have to be logical with this, too. I don't know. I'm. I don't know all the all what everything means. I do have my rulership book here, though. But oh, happy birthday, Linda! I think creeks are too. They're not deep enough. Well, you're gonna hide a body. You're not gonna put them in a creek. Just saying.
Sorry, I just wanted to come check this real quick. I'm trying to find the casino. Everybody told me there was on this place. I just don't know where. Because I've pulled that twice. There's a library. Oh, line goes right there where the library is. Um, but I don't, I mean, we're not meant to find him anyways. Like a search team isn't going to find him. I mean, I'll put this out, but just saying he'll be found when and if he and how he's supposed to be found. That's something everybody has to keep in mind. A boat could go right over him and totally miss him, and then he's found later in the same area. Um, what I'm looking for is that stupid casino that everybody says was here that I can't... Oh, crap. I just really... I can't seem to find it. I wish they would have, like, stopped the dam. There's a road that goes right here, too, along the river. Oh, there's a lake right there. There's a lake right there. Um, There is, I don't know, oh, that's railroad tracks, actually. Um, there's a lake right there, and then it goes right into... Trying to figure out where the hell. I mean, here's some here's some fields. Do stop. Here's some fields right here. Um, here's a br I mean, here's that bridge. I keep going back to that stupid bridge, but I don't know. Somebody said you could drive over one and not the other. I don't know. Um. Makes me, when I see that island, it kind of makes me think of R Riley's reading because I know they interconnect. It's interesting, it goes right by the golf course, too, which can hit multiple cases. Bar. Moisture area, social nexus, sandy, crossroads. Um, I mean, it all goes through the river there. The only thing I'm wondering about is the ascendant line over here, but there's no other lines. I mean, they can be found by the ascendant line in the mountain, it being like mountainous. I'm just wondering. But also, these mountains are right here, and look, his his Venus, the Venus and the Pluto and the Mars line go through there, but that's not, I mean, those, I mean, I talked to her today and she said, well, all the lines we should keep, we should take into I mean, you know, and here's the park right here, the park right here. Um, I don't know. All the lines just go through the river. I mean, even if we extend them, it doesn't really hit any other water except for way down there off of 40. 
which I don't know. I haven't got 40. I think somebody else said they did, but I try to just go by what I get, you know? I mean, we didn't really like, send him past the river because we feel like he's in the river. I mean, I literally heard Cumberland in his reading, so. I just think it interconnects Riley. That's why it's so hard to find him. That's what someone told me. Someone told me there was a casino along the river somewhere. And I did see it. I did see one, but now I can't find it. And I'm not, this isn't Nashville. This is, um, I didn't get four. I don't know. I got 412, but, or no, I don't know if I got that at all. No, I, I don't I don't see everything in every detail, unfortunately. I give you guys what I get and that's it. Hey, Roger. Hey, Seth. Um, I'm not, so I'm not manifesting anything here. And I just want to say this from the bottom of my heart that I'm not trying to put out that he's not alive, but his astrology chart is something you can't change. So if you see a reading, it's like, okay, here's a reading and it might not be right. It might be right. But when you pull the astrology chart and there's certain, certain things in certain houses it points to that. So you can always continue to search and believe he's alive, but I am telling you that your son did not run off barefoot when he will not go barefoot at three o'clock in the morning in the dark. It's just not logical to me. No one see him running or anything. Unfortunately, I think your ex is lying because again, she is represented by Black Moon Lilith. Allegedly, I'm going to say that allegedly because this is astrology, this is readings, but you cannot change your astrology. So I wouldn't be pushing the fact unless he didn't have certain um, aspects in his chart. So, yeah, he, he didn't leave the house. He was put straight into a vehicle through the garage, in my opinion. So head injury comes in the astrology chart. This isn't just me saying this. Um, this is like literally connecting the astrology, something you cannot change to readings so some people can say all right maybe she's wrong because i'll never push i'll never push if anybody's alive or deceased unless i have the astrology to basically give me the signs that says there's no way he's alive and you can continue looking for him to be alive that's totally up to you i would do the same thing if it was my son i have a 19 year old i totally understand where you're coming from um but at the same time we have to look at all angles we have to look if he wasn't and if he was. So I'm not trying to manifest anything, but sometimes things are as they are. There's faded events that happen and um, you can't manifest what's already happened. So, you know, um, and yeah. I understand that Seth needs a sun back. That's what I'm trying to do, but I can only do so much. Psychics don't know everything. We cannot pinpoint locations most of the time. So any psychic that tells you I can find your son, I can tell you exactly where he is. It doesn't work like that. So, um, you know, I, 
you can't manifest something that's already happened. I would love for him to be okay. Like I said, I have a 19 year old. Um, but it's like, you can't change your astrology and what is, for instance, in Amber's astrology, she literally has a Pluto at the, in the eighth house of death at the time her, her, um, car was found. So unfortunately she was already gone. Um, it's, so it's problem solving. It's, it's not, this is not just psychic readings per se. This is, this is a literal astrology that you cannot change. So I would never be pushing that if I wasn't, if I wasn't, if I didn't have the astrology to back it up because I can actually read the energy long wrong. And that's why I usually don't say someone is deceased if I don't know, because I've had them where they've been heavily drugged and feel, felt that way and they weren't. So it's more or less like, You know, um, I would never manifest that or any, and I don't push it unless I have like something, there's something in his astrology chart that states this, um, you know, just saying it doesn't, none of this story makes sense. None of it makes sense. And you can believe the lies of someone that's saying that he ran out of the house. That's changed their story 50 freaking times. That was the last one to see, you know, anything about him. I'm sorry, but people surprise you. And she was unstable, allegedly. And I don't feel like she had his best interests at heart. I feel that there's a lot of jealousy as far as, um, you know, it, it, and it's funny that somebody, you know, everybody's listening to all the other psychics that are saying that, but I'm not just saying it as, as a, as a psychic, I'm saying this as it's in his astrology chart. So I don't like to beat around the bush. I always try to be honest and sincere. And also I try to um, be loving and compassionate towards the family. That's why I don't ever push my readings on anybody. Um, but I have a 19 year old. I totally understand it. I know that it's hard to believe that somebody would do something, you know, about I, it's hard to believe that something you know or once loved would do anything to your child, but we see it every day, unfortunately. There's actually no sign of him anywhere. He did not run off. He does not have that personality to run off in the middle of the night. Um, if you think about it, I think Seth said himself that he didn't like to go without shoes barefoot because of ants or something like that so really when you think about it why would he run down the street barefoot in the middle of the night and why would they change their story 500 times and why would no one have seen him running down the street so i go kind of logically along with my readings and astrology you know um i did get a huge i got a dream about the the garage i don't know what that is about but you know, I would, I hope that I'm completely fucking wrong. Excuse my language. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope the astrology is wrong. I, I really hope I'm wrong, but you know, everybody listens to everybody else that doesn't have a track record. Um, that's fine. I'm not here to boot, toot my own horn or anything. What I'm here is to find missing people and to give the truth. I'm not going to beat around the bush and I'm not going to just say something that I'm not getting. Um, you know, I'm not Rochelle. I'm Rochelle. So please don't get us. I think he left because he said goodnight. So you can't manifest something that already happened, unfortunately. And he's a parent. I understand where he's coming from. But as a parent, you have to look at all angles. You have to look at all angles. You can't just focus on one thing. You can focus on the fact that if you ran where he might be, but you also have to focus on the other. You have to focus on everything because we're in the end, we're trying to find the truth, right? Um, and again, if I didn't have the astrology pointing that way, I wouldn't push it. Um, just saying, I wouldn't push it at all. But when you have somebody that's depicted as the Black Moon Lilith in his crime astrology chart, that is an evil woman. That is someone, allegedly, you know, she's, she's, she's represented by Virgo. So she pretends to be like a Virgo, very analytical, very well-spoken, very like, I'm here to find my son. But in reality, she's Black Moon Lilith, so everything is opposite of what you're seeing.
That includes in the house. So I did say that Sebastian peed the bed before that was known. There's, there's, there's validations that I can give people that I would not know. And again, I'm not going on a rant here, but if it was just a reading, I'd be like, okay, Seth, sure. When his astrology comes into play, it, it guides me a certain way. And I can't go against what spirit gives me. I can't go against what astrology, especially when they, they interconnect like this. Like, they're exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, my dogs are outside barking, though. They're outside because they're, they're barking at, because they're LGDs. Um, yeah, so there's certain things that are validated. And then someone will, you know, they don't watch my readings and then... You know, I just want Sebastian found in whatever way that is. I'd love to be completely wrong. Let me be wrong. I'll be wrong. I'll be wrong if it means somebody's alive somewhere. I'll be Sylvia Brown and I'll be wrong. Just saying. I don't mind that. I won't push something. We have to look at, at all angles. Like, has he been seen anywhere? No. Is it something that would he have done? Like, would he really have run out of the house at three o'clock in the morning? Shit. My son is not autistic and he wouldn't run out of the house at three o'clock in the morning barefoot in the middle of the street. You know what I mean? Like, especially this kid is never barefoot. The only time he's barefoot is probably when he's sleeping. The son, It doesn't make sense. So I totally understand where he's coming from and I can't imagine being in his shoes. So I'm very sympathetic to that. And I'm just trying to help. Like I, like I said, I'm dropping it anyways. I'm not, I'm not working I'm not working the case anymore. I'm I'm putting this out and I'm done because there's other psychics that he's working with. There's other psychics that are saying things. Let them go follow them, whatever. When it, when it comes to the fact that he's found, we'll look back like we did on Dylan or the other cases I've worked, just like Emil. They said they searched that area millions of times and that's where they found the skull. Like, you know, so... I'm just going to drop that there. I'm not ever manifesting anything but, like that. But you can't manifest what's what's already happened. We just try to find the truth of the matter. So, yeah, but that's who they're following. So I don't step on anybody's feet. I don't push my readings on people. I don't do any of that. Some things happen as they're supposed to. His chart depicts two authority figures running across him. So hopefully that's what will happen. I know. And I feel bad like when somebody and I, I do have to tell you guys that in his in his astrology chart, in Sebastian's astrology chart, there is a in his birth chart. Actually, he has some Leo, which means that he would have liked to have been famous one point or he was going to be famous in some way, shape or form. Now, this case has gotten really big. This case is like famous and there might be a book, docuseries or whatever from it. But also um, there will be a law come into effect there's more than likely a law come into effect if they find him and, and all of that. So, um, you know, we are here for, to bring insight, to bring peace, to bring, you know, I'm just here trying to help, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work on it anymore because there's nothing else I can do at this point. He's in the river. He's in the river. He's going to be very hard to recover. Just saying. Until it's time. All right. <coughs> I mean, I'm not going to. I think he's already left. So, um, you know, he probably didn't hear any of that, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, let me see something. Um, all right. I kind of went over. It's basically all in the river. Like there's not really anything else, like any specific part of the river I, I'm getting. So I can't, that's all I can do on that. Um, oh shoot. Oh, I think I hoped I removed it. Okay. I did. Um, yeah. And I, I think we all would go through denial stage. Hey, there's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. Um, and I, I mean, these other psychics are saying that he ran off or whatever. I'd like to know where he is then. Um, I 
I always get brushed off, girl. I've been brushed off for 11 years. I think every case that I say something in, I get brushed off. And then it comes out to be accurate. And then, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Like I said, psychics are not supposed to find anybody. It doesn't work like that. The timing is what works like that. How they're supposed to be found is how it works. So it usually doesn't make sense till they're found anyways. And when they're found, it's like, well, holy crap, you know. No, my heart breaks for them. And I'm not trying to be insensitive. So that's why I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on from here. Um, which I wasn't even going to go through this one, but um, it's crazy because Summer Wells isn't even missing that far from there. I didn't even realize that. I mean, like I said, I'm a, I have a son that's 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 19 and he had ADHD. It was very, very hard. Um, you know, as an ADHD kid, it was very, very hard. But yeah, it's just a learning section. And that's why I've I've kind of brought in astrology into it so that I can validate my own readings because a lot of times it's hard to tell if someone's deceased or alive. And I never want to lead anybody on a wild goose chase. I never want to say someone's deceased if they're alive, but you can't change what's in your astrology chart. There's certain things that depict certain things. So, and I'm not reading the chart. My friend is and she knows what she's doing. So Yeah, because we had every all these other psychics that were saying it was Jack and it was this person, it was that person. Like it's nobody we know, dude. It's nobody we know. Um, and so then I just waited for it to come out. It'll be validated when that happens. So, like I said, I don't try to push on anything. Um, but I do definitely have. Well, I actually said Brian. I, Brian was an old roommate, so there's yeah, there's only so much I can do. It, you know, it, it comes to a point. Um, but Brian came in in the very beginning. Just Ryan was an old roommate. Like I said, I get things around the case and stuff. Um, all right. So let's look at. I just want to look at Summers real quick. Oh. I'm okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's cool. One day they'll learn, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Spirit doesn't tell me everything because like there's faded things and things are faded the way they're meant to happen. That's what I keep trying to explain to everybody. Like any psychic that tells you I can for sure find your, your loved one run because yeah, no. And we don't know unless we cro cross things off. We're out there searching anyways. So this is Summerwell's map. Yeah. This is her map. Um, so according to her astrology chart, it's it feels like she's on the property. According to the readings, it feels like she's on the property... Um, their property is pretty big, either on or very close. Now there is an old well on their property. Um, so you, again, you can extend any of these lines if you want to. She just feels she's on the property. She feels she's on the property according to the astrology chart. So that's why, um, this is basically like, uh, this is where the church goes now. We've heard he was at the, they went to this church. We heard they didn't go to this church. So that's usually like, um, this line is usually like gossip and things like that. I remember her telling me that. Um, <clears throat> the sun, um, can sometimes rules bodies. So 
I mean, you can extend any of these out if you want to. There's the moon. It depends on how old she was at the time. Uh, so if you wanted to extend her moon line out, it would go this way into the mountains. I just don't think so. Um, you know, the, this is the Saturn line, which ultimately most of the time rules bodies. You know, you can extend that all the way out. Um, you know, extend it, extend it, extend it if you want to. I just don't think that she's that far. Um, Jupiter, you can extend that line out this way. So you can extend it out this way. Okay. Um, I mean, there's not really anything to pull cards on here because it's just, there's no city or nothing. So Neptune, you can out this way and Chiron out this way. So I'd be curious if there's a well, cause literally her last name is Wells. And sometimes it's literally in our, in our name. Um, and actually the, it does depict a well in her astrology chart, also electricity. So electric fence, electric phone line or electric telephone lines, um, anything like that. It looks like the electric telephone lines go by this um, road right here. You can extend it, extend it, extend it. And you can extend it this way as well. So that's what she told me. She said she could definitely be in a well. The toxic area was also in her thing. And um, electricity. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're talking to a spirit box, um, Live people don't talk to the spirit box. Other people, other spirits can talk through a spirit box for that person. But a lot of the times I notice they're usually deceased if that happens. Um, yep. <laughs> hey, other. Exactly. I ain't going to tell you. I know where someone is. <laughs> I can only do what I can do. Everything comes out in the wash, like my grandpa used to say. Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. I hate when I do stuff like that. Hold on. I know it's a sensitive... I, I understand it's a sensitive subject, like I said. But if it's sensitive, you know, then maybe not watch that kind of stuff. You don't want to believe it. You're talking to other psychics. You're talking on, on the spirit box, like... You know, um, if people are, if, if they're sensitive to it, then, then got to stay away from YouTube and, and channels and stuff like that. Cause we know that my channel is really to voice for the voiceless. Like I'm just trying to help. I'm not trying to like say anything that's not true. And I, like I said, I would not push it if there wasn't something in his astrology chart that, that depicts that. Um, because I never, I never say it. Unless, like, there's something in the astrology chart. Because, like, it's hard to tell sometimes the energy. I don't want to be like Sylvia Brown. <laughs> you know, where people only remember I was wrong. Um, yeah. So there's some sort of electric by her. Um, I feel like I've described some stuff on the property before. You know... Yeah, so she's she's by something electric, possibly something that has like some toxic with it. I think multiple times I've got something that is like a well with water dripping. I feel like I hear the I hear the metal. So not a cave. No, I feel like she's in a well. I feel like she's in an abandoned. You know the ones that like are have the large round things because also I was getting that during Dylan's too. The large round things that um the large round wells, the old wells that. Like, you just cover up. Like, something like that. 
um, because the toxic stuff comes in in the chart. She could possibly be in a well according to her chart, and she would be near electrical, either electric fence, electric line, something that's electrical. And I know, like, the hauler keeps coming in, which is something that's, like, um, like down. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the hauler or hollow is, whatever the hell they're called. Um, so... But yeah, I mean, you can extend all those lines, but I think we're really looking on or close to the property, honestly. I mean, that's that's felt it's felt like that for a long time. And basically her astrology chart sort of basically depicts it. Others were looking, I just don't think that they would have went because um Pisces because it goes through the creek right there. I think I got creek. She's got some Pisces in here, so that could be water. Um, I think. I mean, I would look abandoned wells, like on a field. Um, I don't know if these cards will help in this situation because I mean I think I pulled I pulled I already pulled cards for her. Um, not these cards, but <coughs> I just did, yeah, so, and I did get a, the toxic sign, so I did get, like, that in my reading, and it, the, the astrology does back it up. But, I mean, it's hard, because if she's on the property and they don't get warrants, like, how are you going to check it? I don't know. It's been three hours, and I really have to do some stuff tonight. I have to take out my hedgehog tonight. I mean, we can't say that. We always have to hope for it to happen. But she did go missing during a void moon, which makes things extremely difficult. And if we don't have anybody's eyes on the, the family or them searching that property, then yeah. But I, I'm hoping that if they find Sebastian, that the law changes to where they should be getting search warrants for the parents if they were last seen with them. That's what I'm hoping. But I don't think they have anything to do with Aunt Rose because I always get a truck with her and I don't even think that she was like anywhere near Candace or anything at that time. Um, so, you know, we can only do so much. Like I said, like, it's not like I can go on her property, their property and look, not like other people can. Things happen as they're meant to. So it is what it is. We can, we always got to think positive and know and because a lot of people thought Dylan would ever be found and look, he was found in one way or another. That's just the way because he the reason for the delays was because he went missing during Mercury retrograde. So there'll be uh, delays in it. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, if they were to find Sebastian that because his chart depicts a law change. So maybe they will change the law um, in regards to you know, them checking parents first, you know, like making it something like that. So that's sometimes why, why people, when they, these missing persons, like with Audrey and whatnot, like they have law changes because that's part of their soul contract. I don't know if these will help because there's nothing really around that area, but we'll see what we get. That might not make sense. <coughs> they usually don't change laws till somebody's found, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's there's something in his like birth chart or something he said where there might be a law that comes out of it, yeah. I mean, we don't know what laws will be changed. So you can't say that. Okay? Cuz sometimes certain case will change certain laws. So, something to think about. We always can't say never say never. Yep, and things get things like void moon makes it tough. 
Okay, that that makes sense because I was get I meant for I don't know if you guys remember the skull and the, the the crossbones that I got in the last reading, um, and then I always hear like banging like on metal and dripping water, so it does make sense. Yeah, well, you can't. A lot of people can't see a lot of things. Sometimes people say they'll never be found, and then they're found. And sometimes people say this will never happen, and then it happens. So we just can't be. We can't say that because we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen with someone's soul contract that will shift something into changing. I don't know much about it. I heard another astrologer talk about it. So honestly, I think it just makes delays, makes things not clear, makes things kind of cloudy. Like it's a bad thing. Like the Titanic or something was on a void moon. But don't quote me on that. It's just really bad luck. Like my astrologist doesn't know all about that right now. So. Yeah, we always can he keep the hope alive because the more positive energy we put into it, the more we try to manifest it, that can also kind of help things. Um, Amber, it's in the beginning. No, um, not really. I'm talking about, la I mean, I know somebody does syntax that could do a syntax on her name, but. Plus, I was getting all that, like, well stuff with Dylan. I just, but there was somebody found in the well, I guess, so I don't know. Um, but like I said, when I continue to work on cases, I end up getting, um, like, it ends up kind of becoming inaccurate. So I try to only do it a couple times, and then I don't want to do too, I don't want to do, like, too many readings on each case, because I think it becomes, like, too inaccurate or whatever. I don't know. Just from what I've noticed, the more readings that are done, the more it kind of goes all over the place. I always rant, so don't feel bad about it, <laughs> especially when I'm ticked off. <laughs>
Mm, these cards aren't making sense. I'm going to reshuffle. I mean, everything's intention. So if you start, like, having an intention for negative spirits, I mean, I just, I don't have an issue with putting the cat balls on them. So, I mean, that's because I'm not afraid. I don't put out that energy. I know I'm protected. So I don't have that issue. But anything you use, if you're using EVPs or anything, you need to make sure you're putting up protection first. The hospital is because they went to the hospital that day. Okay, there we go. And again, cards around the case, not necessarily where she is, okay? So, I don't think. By the way, the zoo, the zoo card can also be just like wildlife, like where you can observe wildlife as well. Not necessarily... I don't know. These cards really don't make sense. But they were at the lake earlier, so... Um... They were doing gardening work. Allegedly. Okay. I don't know. Um, we have jail, grass, jail. So <laughs> that's just that it's in prison, which we know the dad has been in jail. We have open, open expanse, uh, grassland. So a large area, frigid realm. It gets cold there. Um, restaurant. I think they were there earlier in the day. Bench, rest and relaxation. Um, a place for, for chilling out. Uh, workspace. I think dad was said to be at work. I don't know how true that is. We have hospital. The grandma went to the hospital. Um, tavern. They're, they're both alcoholics. So we have nature's haven. Uh, a park. Nature's haven. You know, an area that's like that. It could be like a park. Desert. Sandy. Supermarket. They went to the supermarket to get milk. The sea. They went to the water. Um, but also we have home. So we pulled the home card. We have... A place where you can observe wildlife, the bathroom, post office can also have to do with like written correspondence, um, beauty salon, windows. So depends on how you take that. That could be fr framed views, glass portal, window seal, um, laboratory. So there's, you know, DNA, whatever, or innovation in DNA, airport, um, farm. Um, financial center, lake, which they were at the lake earlier, concert, church, school, coffee, <coughs> stop, <coughs> coffee house, birthplace, garden. They were working in the garden that day. 
dazzling gems. So maybe there's crystals or stones or something in that area um, within the vehicle. They did they did drive around that day. Countryside and damp and rainy realms. So moisture wet area. Yeah, math as well. Yeah. Um. Come on, dude, Roscoe. Yeah, I mean, if there's no zoo, it would be wildlife because it they can go for multiple things on here. So. Instead of reading court, legal proceeding, proceedings, elevator, so somewhere higher up. Living room. Family gathering. So the White House, White House can also be a guiding light, a symbol of hope. So that's interesting. I pulled that because we just talked about that. It's not always necessarily a lighthouse. So you have to you have to kind of perceive them. They'll be different in each case of how they're going to make sense. Um, they're not always like areas too. It's some symbi sometimes symbolic. Remember, guys, everybody has soul contracts, even kids. They pick their parents. So we have to remember that, too. People pick their parents. They know what they're going to go through. All right? Yeah, I know, but, you know, sometimes people get tunnel vision, and that's the way that it is. So, when he's found, we'll all see. Just saying. Um, just like Dylan. So. Lighthouse for what? So, it can also be symbolic. Again, guiding light, symbol of hope. But in, in Elijah's case, there's literal lighthouses there. So, you know, sometimes it's symbolic. Well, unless they look at the parents, they are, I don't know. No, but it was still said. You know what I mean? Regardless if they were doing it or not, it's still a story. So that card would come up. Bench, yes. You have to have evidence to do to do an investigation too. That's the problem. I don't know what you're talking about the red roof in for. Yeah, he was in jail. He was actually in jail recently. Yeah. Well, her Mars line is right in front of the house, so it would say it's either in the house or very close to the house was where it would have happened. I always see her running, um, but there was something explosive that happened into the house and was taken outside of the house, which I explained in her astrology one. Oh, crap. Yeah, well, it's a beacon of light on this. I mean, it depends on how you look at it, but. It, it... No, it's okay. So, I don't know. I need to go back through Dylan's cards. Mm. Anybody know if there was, like, a creek over by where he was? Because I remember it, it could even be, like, a dry creek bed. But it looks like he wasn't far from the road, which I think also came in. I'm going to look at... I'm going to pull that map up right now because I'm curious now. Um, For Dylan, like, what... I want to look at that and see what's around that. Because I haven't really looked. And I'm... I'm trying to... um. Hold on a second. Uh, 
Why did it not go to it? How come it didn't take me away from here? What the heck? It's not taking me to Dylan's. It's this. I'm stuck on Summers. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Stop. Leave me alone. I try to. I try to give answers to what I know. Like, I can't, I can't answer things I don't know. No, I mean, I just did that one reading. I haven't done anything else on Harmony. We might do astrology charts, but I, so I, um, I can only, like, I try not to ask too much of her because she's the one doing this. And she also has a job. So, I can only get her to do cases I can, like, she has time for. I just want to look because I actually haven't looked at the area over there <coughs> where his, I mean, his stuff went right. I mean, it's like bald eagle, right? So, it's a little off, but close enough. As far as his astrology lines, they went that way. Oh, Grand Peak, I was in that way. Oh, my God, I think we talked about this on my live. The Grand, the Grand Peak. Oh, my God. Oh, man. There's gypsum over there. I need to find, what was the name of the road again? And it was Nevada. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, wait, I have to figure out where it was found first. Then we'll see if it was off a little bit. Because I know Bald Eagle was right there when I looked at the map. God, I think I looked at this in my... I think I looked at this in one of the videos. Seems like I really did look at it. Yeah, I think it's over here. I don't know how I can find... How do I find... Oh. What was it? Spring Tunnel? Nope, that's not right. What the fuck? <laughs> Took me to California. Nope. Um, or Tunnel Spring Road. I think I had just think I had a dyslexic moment. <laughs> it's not taking me. What the hell is the name of this? Utah. There we go. Fudge sakes. All right. Oh, my God. It's in the mountain. Oh, I think I had this area. I need to go back and look where I was looking at the map. Oh, my freaking goodness. This is where his dream took me to. Ah. See, it always comes out in, at the end, and then it's like, holy crap, I had that area. Um, You're welcome. Okay. Oh my god, I think we have this area. I feel so stupid now. I feel fucking ridiculous. I think I talked about taking a road into the mountain in one of my readings. 
Oh my fucking god. Okay, let me see. Where do these fucking astrology line, freaking astrology lines go? Yeah. I think they go right to it. Yep. Look at that. His ascendant line right there. All it's right between all those lines. His the sun line, the ascendant line, and the Mercury line. Yep. Very, very close. Oh, I lost it. Holy crap. I really cannot wait to till I, I go through my readings on this now because I literally think I was looking at this stupid road. Governor Spring, there's a creek. I really do think I was looking on this this same. Oh, there's different tunnel springs. There's tumble, tunnel springs number one, which is like a wash. I wonder, was he like off a road like right here? Is this where he was? This would match my dream, too. It's the right direction. It looks like Tunnel Spring Groads goes into the mountains. I'd be curious where he was. I swear we looked at this at one time. Yep, there's Nevada. And two borders would be Nevada. And... There's another border right here. Whatever border that is. What border is that? Utah. So, yeah. Idaho. Yeah. Idaho, Nevada border. That's right. That's what came in the reading. Okay. Oh my god, I can't wait to go over these readings because I think we were here and I think I mentioned the mountains and shit. Like, yep, I hadn't looked at the map in a really long time, but this totally makes sense. How did he get there? How far away is this? Does anybody know? Oh, he must have taken this road right here. That road goes out there. What road is that? It splits. That doesn't have a name, I don't think. It does look like gypsum sand. Who have taken a dirt road out there, it looks like, huh? Crossroads. Yeah, I gotta go back over my stuff because, yeah. It's a crazy place. Makes sense, though. Makes complete sense. Because I said the sun rules body sometimes, and it literally goes over there. It's like this is right in between. I, I need to know exactly where he was to see how the astrology line hits it. But it'll be interesting when she expands those lines right there. We can see how close we were. And we went off the phone call. Holy crap.
Yeah, that's why I want to learn how to do it because. It looks like it's further than a few miles. I told Dylan today, I'm going to miss talking to you, Dylan. He gave me such good information that I didn't even know I had. That's what I mean. It always, always makes sense in the end. It'll always make sense later at the time. It's like, holy crap, I feel like I'm running around like a, like everywhere, like chasing my own tail. Um, yeah, I mean, and his property's over here. So I think we talked about this property being close to his, his other property. See? Desert Peak. Yep, I was at Grand Peak. God dang it. I was talking about that in one of my readings. We were going over the map. Well, shiznick. It's right freaking there. Go freaking figure. See what I mean? I always wonder about places, but I'm afraid to say it, and then it ends up clicking in the end. So stupid. I don't know if he's, like, off a road or in the mountains. Like, I don't know. It makes sense, though, to my reading. Or my map, too. But it seems like I went over there multiple times. I always got pulled. I always got pulled in the direction to the, the borders when I was on a map, for the most part. I should have paid more attention to that Mercury and Sun line, though. And this is all that gypsum sand I was talking about right there. So that makes sense, because... It's all round right there. Or what I what I take it as. So it's interesting because it had the part of fortune in the Mercury. So why the attack was recorded and led law enforcement to the perpetrator so easily. So yeah. I mean, it was easily, but it was also not easily because I think it took a little bit for evidence. But once they found the phone and they got the phone figured out because it was in the pond, which is why I kept getting the pond in that reading. I'm kind of excited to go back. I know we looked at this area. I freaking know we did because of this gypsum. This is gypsum to me. And that Graham Peak, because I got it somewhere. I got that. I mean, it's far away, but it's a reference point on a map. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess if we would have listened to the earlier readings and followed, then it would have been different. <laughs> I don't know what I already... I mean, I don't know. I if I unless I'm told someone's gonna be found, like I I don't know. Um, so I can't tell you that. I can never tell you. Like I'm not gonna know everything, guys. I try to explain that to people. Like as much as I would love to know when people are gonna be found and stuff. Unless I was given April, that could be any April. I mean, it could be just something significant comes out in April. Um. So, all right. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs>
No, it's just we misinterpret. It's not necessarily that you got them wrong. You could be misinterpreting what's coming in. Like like I said, spirit's never wrong, but we misinterpret because we're the humans trying to learn a whole new language. So you have to remember that too. We're They're communicating telepathically. Sometimes things get lost in trans translation, you know. Um, yeah, I just... I don't want to put too much on my friend at a time, so I just <coughs> hopefully one day I'll be able to do it myself. I'm learning everything backwards, so I actually need to start <coughs> start studying a little bit more on it. I just don't really learn like that way. I learn from like doing. Oh, it's always spirit. It doesn't really have anything to do with me. I just listen. No, 351. I know I'm going to have to go because it's almost 11. I've got to... I guess I want to take out Zuri tonight. So. <laughs> it's so time with the dogs. Ugh. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Hawk. I'm sure I'll conk out on the couch. That's what I tend to do. Yeah, I hope you guys can get with um, the guy that was going to search. Um, yeah, well, you know, you can't... Like, you can't make people like, understand, um, or, you know what I mean, like, sometimes people have tunnel vision, and that's parents, too, like, we want to believe one thing, we're not going to listen to what anybody has to say, and I would never hope for anything bad, like I said, I hope I'm completely wrong, I hope he's alive somewhere, um, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, um, yeah, he was, but uh, just a little bit before this. Yeah, so like I said, everything will come out in the wash the way it's supposed to, regardless of who listens to me or not. Um, but I think that because my friend did talk to the person that was in the river for Riley, I think they did learn their lesson about not listening. Um, and apparently they did have boats in the water, according to what she told me, even though it was said not they didn't. And that whole thing, I don't know. All the drama on Sebastian. Them. I don't know. Um, I don't know what to believe. Because I'm hearing a different story than what's being put out. So. Um, yeah. Chuck. That's who it was. So if anybody wants to reach out, reach out to Chuck. Uh, excuse me. To go sh uh, looking for Elijah. Um, uh, we could not find his digits. So if Chuck wants to email me. And then I can put you in contact. We'll do it that way. Um, did he? I didn't see it. Where did I miss it? How far back is it? Let me see. Because I want to post it on screen for people that watch that. Um, I must have missed it somewhere. Well, crap, I don't see it. Did he leave already? I was going to say, can he repost it? Because I didn't see it. No, I, it's like way the hell up there. And I'm hungry too. I got to eat something. Chuck, can you please respell out your number? I can't find it. It's way the hell up there.
Um, yeah, Chuck, spell out your number again so I could put it back up there. What donation? I don't know anything. About... Let me look. I know, but um, if he can... Oh, hold on. She might have sent it to me. Hold on. Oh, that makes me dizzy. Okay, let me try this. Um, oh, I don't know if I can read this. 909-807. That's making me dizzy. 8... Nine, oh, nine, nine, two, zero. <laughs> nine, two, zero. I can't. <laughs> nine, two, zero. Hold on. Nine, two, zero. Nine. This is hard. Oh, my God. Nine, two, zero. Nine, eight. Zero nine eight zero. I got it. I got the nine two zero. No, wait. Nine two zero. Nine eight zero seven thousand three. I hope. Can you guys see that? Nine. Is that right, Chuck? Is that right? No, I don't. Sorry. She doesn't talk to me anymore. We're not friends anymore. Long story. Not not going to throw any of that out there. Chuck, can you check that number before I post it? Let me know if it's right. It's so hard to read numbers like that. Like I feel like my brain is going to explode. 9209800. It's ridiculous, but I don't even want to air it out here because I, you know, okay, it's right. All right, I'll put it up. Okay, so if anybody wants to contact Chuck for searching and Elijah, do no crazies contact him, okay? Just um, people that want to. Uh, They want to contact Chuck to search for Elijah. You guys can um, hopefully get a search thing going. There's his number on the screen. I know, right? Sorry, I was trying to. It's like all those words together were like making my brain hurt. It was. I was like scrambling. I was trying not to. Um, like mess it up or give you the wrong number or if there were spaces it would be different but they're all ran together and like my brain is just like twisting everything around so jesus okay let me write down your number then nice Okay. Uh. <coughs> right? I have like, like what? Three male subs. <laughs> the rest are all female. Um, I'll, I'll tell you how many, how much men, how many men I have on my. It's because men are more. Um, they're not, they don't like believe in this stuff. So that's why. Um,
crap. I totally misunderstood that comment. Now I need to fix it. Uh-oh. I'm going to tell you how many men I have. Um, or how many. Okay, it's on that one. All right, I'll go look at that in a minute. See how many male subscribers I have. Mostly older people, so we have 1.1%, 1 .1%, 18 to 24, 25 to 34 is 9.7%, 35 to 44, 22%, 45 to 54, 26.8%, 55 to 64, 26.1%, and 65 plus, 14, 3%. It makes you wonder if as we get older, we start to get more of an open mind. 5% are male and 95% are female. Just saying. Five percent. I know exactly. I'm just wondering if. Um, Yeah, we got 5% male subs on this channel. And that's, I think, because just women are more intuitive. They're more open-minded. Um, and it looks like they're older, too. So I think we become more open-minded later in life. Just from going from this. But people got to subscribing because got to start subscribing. Because we have 42% that aren't subscribed. Guys are all watching the Pascal Show, JLR, and Nancy Grace. So, who my audience watches? Nancy Grace, JLR, Dolly Vision, the Pascal Show, Michelle After Dark, um, Sweetie Pie Low, Grizzly True Crime, Eleven Eleven True Crime, Plunder, Court TV, Duty Ron, Clutch Them Pearls, The Mob Crew, The Reckoning, and Gray Hughes. Ugh, why you guys don't watch Gray Hughes? Oh, I was looking for that donation you said, right? Let me go see. If your name is Yolanda, I got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Gray attacked me one time, so I, I don't I don't watch him. But he's so skeptical. Um and judgmental. Oh, I know I know that yeah, I know people are yeah, but all my stuff is on that link. That link or that that uh, link tree.
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Chuck. I have to give you credit. <coughs> sorry. Yeah, he is. We just don't. Well, there's just certain people we don't talk about here. <laughs> I, it didn't show up. It didn't show up on the. It just shows me what other like other people watch from that watch this channel. So basically, all true crime stuff. So it didn't show that. So yeah. All right. I guess I'm gonna hop off here. This thing didn't go off today. My balls didn't go off. I don't understand. okay i just turned it on everybody looked at me like what the see i like this because it doesn't like it it doesn't really do anything like with electronics or me which is which most of them do so we'll have to see how this really works because it hasn't so i appreciate whoever sent me this um i have my link tree everything is in my link tree i just made the balls go off everything's in my link tree in my description box. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. People make a bank just by talking about drama and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They didn't go off, I don't think. It's a ghost meter. I haven't seen it work yet. Oh, no problem, Chuck. No one has to think. No one has to thank me. You know, I just, I'm just answering my calling and doing what I'm supposed to do. It's all spirit in the long run anyways. So, you know, it's all spirit. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. No one has to, you know, only if you guys feel like you want to. So keep that in mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like I'm still like dead from yesterday. I got some new cards. I'm wondering how these Zodiac ones are going to work. Um, I could pull them to, like, see if it points to a specific line, but you have to really, I have to go back. I need to start reading my astrology book to, like, go back over what each of the signs mean, because it just basically says the, the signs on here. It doesn't give you anything else, so I need to, like, learn different things about the sign, I think, signs, I think. And then I have, oh, these are the ones I didn't look at. I was going to look. Uh. Yeah. Um I haven't opened this one yet. I just got it today. It's, well, it is Friday in, like, just a few hours. Um, damn it. I'm not ready for Friday because I have a spirit lit. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I still feel tired. I know. <laughs> okay, so these ones are the ones I was looking forward to that I forgot. The karma cards. Go. Oh. So the karma cards, we have like, like the fifth house. So these have the houses. They have like, 
fourth house, eighth house. So these have the houses. I don't know how these would work, but ninth house. And then it has all the signs. I mean, I don't know if these will be helpful or not, but if anything, just learning, learning a little bit about it. No, oh, I forgot I ordered some like learning astrology cards. I need to check on those. I forgot I ordered those. Oh wait, I already I only went through these ones. There's one more pack that I got because I had some of these and I think they got ripped, and so I ordered some other ones. I ate earlier, but I'm like super hungry right now. My plan was not to come on here and do, but I was like so excited like about Dylan and I didn't get to do it yesterday. And I wanted to sh tell you guys like about my journey that was kind of ridiculous and all right. Yeah, so I had some of these life purpose cards before and I think they got halfway eaten by the dogs. So I ordered so I got some different ones. So we have the life purpose cards now. Let's see what I can pull for myself. I don't know if I'll be able to get anything. Uh I mean I don't know if they'll be accurate, but Oh, I'm glad you guys actually like my lives and stuff, and I don't bore you with things. Um, there's lots of videos on how to use cards. I just haven't gotten to, the, to like, see what. I have some unicorn ones. Let me, let's see. Let's see what, for my life path, what comes up. I like the oracle cards that say, like, the meaning on them, but I do have some tarot cards that say the meaning on them as well. You can get those as well, and I'll help you learn them faster. That's what I'm saying. At least I'm not boring. <laughs> you know, some lives, it's, like, so boring. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know if these will be accurate because pulling cards for yourself is like. That card was in the middle.
That makes sense. Oh man, why always give me the teaching card? Ah, these all make sense. They always freaking throw teaching in my face. <laughs> do they even have an a card for what I do? Oh, quit throwing the teaching at me. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right, so we have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others and who need your help. We have trust. Trust your feelings, dreams to guide your career path. Hearts, desires. Angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you. Your dreams become reality. Freedom. You're free to do what you choose. Body work includes uh, energy healing, which I already do. A sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Talk to your angels instead of worrying for divine guidance. Teaching, you inspire young people to learn. Speaker, your life purpose involves your skills of oration. How do you say that? Creative expression, your soul longs to express itself creatively. Animals, you understand it. Animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your guidance as the animals are part of your life work. And he says shit to me. There you go. Books, you connect. Um, to your life purpose through your involvement with books. I also wrote, so infinite abundance, fully supported as you devote yourself to the, your divine life purpose and study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence, clarity in your career, which I'm doing now with the astrology, so. <laughs> I was thinking the spiritual, like, the other one was going to come up, <laughs> but it did. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I don't. We don't. We don't do chant drama here. I won't. I won't stand for it. It's during drama is ridiculous. I know it gains a lot of views, but like I won't do that. Hey, see how's your baby? Yep, I know. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's why I try to always teach. Like, people get mad when I say certain things. I'm like, I'm just trying to teach. Yeah, but Spear always tries to throw that, like, that teaching thing down my throat. I get that a lot, and I don't ever hear their voice.
a great reading on myself. Yeah, <laughs> I know. All right, keep in touch with me, will you? All my all the ways to reach me are in my um in my link tree on my description box. So you know, reach out on Messenger or something. That's better than the phone, honestly. So if you can reach out on Messenger, Instagram, or email, that would help. Or you could text me, but you'd have to get my number first. So I guess I could text you my number, but yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> didn't you have a baby? Maybe you didn't. Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe I'm confusing you with someone else. Good night, Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, we don't do drama here. Oh, I thought it was you that had a baby recently. Maybe it was someone else. Maybe I'm getting you confused with someone else. I apologize for that. I don't know. I probably get you confused. Oh, well. <coughs> no, I probably just got her uh, confused. No, I'm not going to do EVPs. I've been on here for four hours and 30 minutes. i got to go eat and deal with my animals, so... I want to try to get my my Zuri out tonight. It's been a couple days because I went searching and stuff. And I don't like to do that because they get temperamental if you don't take them out. So, No, it's not for anybody. It's just um, I've thought that I don't think it's for anybody. I just thought that uh, he was one that just had a baby a while ago. I don't know. I, got her conf I probably got her confused for, you know, with someone else is my guess. So, all right, I'm going to, I guess I'll try to clip that so I can put it up for Elijah because I think that was a lot of important information. I'll do it later. I can't do it now. Um, I got to work on Dylan's validation thing because I'm like super excited, but I'll have to go through the readings on that one. And uh, I'll have to wait for her to extend the line so I could show you guys. It, like the lines run right through there. I'm just curious if he was found like in the mountains or on the road right there. Because it looks like that road is next to another road. But it goes like off the, into the mountains. So I know we looked at that area. So that's interesting. Um, yes, I will get to Caleb. I'm working on it. Um, somebody said that him running through the woods might be significant. Like for what's coming out. I haven't seen anything. Um, so him and the reading on the two girls I, I'm still needing to do. But I'm only one person. I'm still doing private readings. I still got um, spirit-led tomorrows. I still got my products like I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to find some time to do that. So I'm like only one person. I'm hoping May will lighten up unless a lot of people schedule, which I'm going to have to cut off my schedule soon if I want to uh, get more cases done or at least part of my schedule. I might leave like a week or two open for readings and just cut off the rest of the month. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Eli should be here either May or June. So I'm going to cut off some time there for him as well. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like, like I slept, I slept till like three today and then I got up and my whole day went bye-bye. So um, they do have a new rainstorm now that's strawberry and apricot. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's super good. They do have it on Amazon. Um, so if anybody likes the rainstorm, it's a good flavor. I know. <laughs> but hoping we got some things accomplished. I don't know. I just felt like I kind of a pull to like go over some stuff today. Um so you're just on your life's path. That's all deja vu means. It's like it's like kind of seeing a part of your blueprint. Oh, thank you, Donna. I'm glad. I'm glad people don't get bored with me. 
Sometimes I just ramble off. But. All right. 111 here. I think it's a good time to go. I love you guys. Take it easy. Hang in there. I'll see you soon.